Since I've got way too much time on my hands, I've spent an ungodly amount of time mining the rarest and deepest minerals in existence, and we're gonna take a look at them all today. Today we're collecting dirt. I don't really know why we're collecting dirt, but we're gonna go with it. Probably because once we get enough dirt, we can upgrade to cloth boots for an extra 0.5 PPS. So now that we have an extra half a PP, we're gonna continue mining, because I assume every time I take a bite of dirt now, it's gonna give me a little bit more. Or maybe it automatically mines, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it seems to be mining all by itself, but I can also click to make it a little bit quicker. And in traditional fashion, the more we mine, the more we can upgrade, which means the more we can mine. Find blocks, abilities, pickaxes, and more in chests. Oh, we found one already. Six wood. That'll complement my peepees nicely, plus some pumpkins. And clay. And a drill. A drill sounds something that would be handy in a world where pickaxes are the ruler. One of two. Dig through blocks dealing sustained damage for a period of time. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. And now we're drilling and pickaxing at the same time. All in search of more peepees. Large gold chest, large diamond chest, large mythical quest we just need 800 balls of pink salt and we can unlock a new area we're gonna do that right away because that's probably gonna have the best stuff for us don't need to buy anything at least not yet all we need is another 60 dirts apparently i found a boss fight good luck finding me i literally just did oh, okay that makes more sense he was the red one wasn't he gotta hit the red one and he's dead that was as easy as it looks. Hopefully I get rewarded very well. With pumpkins, uh, I think I got his soul, which probably isn't worth a lot, but I'll take it. Look at all the pickaxes oh we can my. go through. There's so many. We have just a basic one. Oh, I can't wait till we get all the way up to Riptide. For now, I'm just going to auto-click my way up to 200 dirts. And then we're going to buy the desert right away because I don't want to be here anymore. I always assume the new areas have better stuff. And I can actually buy some materials if I give up the pickaxes. I have 537 picks currently, so if I want to buy one of these, I can buy one for 10 picks. Okay, we get a reward for doing that. Click to open. I love treasure. Clay, pumpkin, and wood. Oh, also sand, cactus. Well, now it's a party. Now, where was I? Unlocking a new area. Desert, coming on up. Now we'll at least get different background material. And I'm just going to mine like this, then we're going to upgrade some stuff. We've unlocked critical strikes. Chance on tapper swing to critical strike cause more damage and generating more picks. Yes. Not even sure what I have for material right now, but I'm going to buy the paper because that's 20 PPs a second. And that started my picks moving a long ways up. And at this rate, we're going to be able to afford new things very quickly. We're already at almost 2,000 picks. I've noticed in the desert here, though, we don't get a lot of dirt or wood. And those might be two things that I kind of need, at least for the early upgrades. Then again, we can buy things for what looks like sand, like a headscarf or a water canteen. So we're going to save up for those. And we can also craft useful blocks with the excess blocks in the furnace. Yes, we're going to turn this into that. As it is level myself up by using my picks, because the more picks I have, the more I can level up. See, the number goes up as the pickaxe mines. So once that hits 100%, we can level up again and then spend some of those skill points on whatever we want. Like increased chance of critical strike times three. And then one point to increase pickaxe damage by 5%, and then one point to increase damage of critical strikes. Now nah, we'll be mining quicker than ever. Then I think we can actually buy a clay pickaxe, which might be better than ours. I think it's at least going to look different than the one we had, and that's a big enough change for me. Speed-wise, I can't really tell, but I'm just going to let it do its thing for a while. Then I'm also going to activate the drill at the same time and we're going to make a giant mess. But look how many picks we have. There's 15,000 already. And then we can unlock the cactus pickaxe just like that. So this should transform into what's hopefully a better one. I will say that it looks better. And thanks to our 26,000 and growing picks, we can level up a few more times. So let's increase the number of block types dropped in chests and probably just increase our luck. I think luck could be good for basically anything. And then we managed to mine 50 what I assume is glass, so we're going to buy that. And then water canteen because of all that sand and the cactus. And now we're at 255 peepees. And then while I'm at it, I'm just going to buy some of the other things because I really had might as well. It's all going to add up to more value for me. I'm also going to go back to the plains for a bit because I feel like I'm going to need lots of dirt. And we're mining lots of it. I think we're getting 105 per chunk. And I'm just going to do this till we're up to 100,000 picks. And then we're going to spend that value and move to the tundra. And that really didn't take long at all. So let's level up a few more times, and then we're probably going to increase our pickaxe damage again, because I want to be able to break stuff faster. So let's do two more levels to increase pickaxe damage, and then probably one more to luck. And now we have enough pumpkins to buy pumpkin spice for an extra 70 PPS. And I guess I'll just spend some of the wood, because... Well, what else am I going to do? Those are going to add a little bit of PPs. Whatever the case, we're now up to 382 PPS. And it won't take long to build our way back up to 100,000 picks again. 
So we're gonna do 150,000 and counting. And before we can unlock the tundra, we need to spend more, mine more sand again from the desert. So we'll be back in a sec. Then if I activate my two abilities, we're mining quicker than we have yet. Well, there's the 200 whatevers I needed, but we might keep going just a little bit, because if we get enough glass, we can get a glass pickaxe. All right, we definitely do not have enough for the glass pickaxe, which is what I was hoping for, so we're going to sit here until we do have enough. You know what? We're going to settle for the standstone pickaxe, because it looks like it does more damage than the glass pickaxe anyways. It kind of blends in, but I'm sure it does more damage to mine quicker than ever before. Oh right, I actually needed all those blocks to go to the tundra. We did just break the 1 million picks mark, but I have a feeling by the end of today we're going to have a lot more than that. Before moving on, we need to upgrade our levels a few times. There's another 3 whole levels. So let's increase critical damage twice and then we're going to increase our luck one more time. Then find out what this is. Increase the duration of pickaxe power. Can't afford that anyway, so food for thought. Now we can go to the tundra, which is nice and icy. But I'm also going to buy the head scarf for an extra 450 picks per second. And then the clay sword for 75. You get the drill. I'm just going to keep clicking these so I get more per second. 455 peepees. Oh, these look like sapphires. I should probably be mining these more. Well, we're getting a lot of new materials, so we're just going to let them go. We get a free chest when we mine another thousand blocks, so that won't take long at all because there's a hundred already. So let's open this one right now to take its spoils, which shouldn't have much. There's a bit of glass and a strength potion, but I can also spend some of my ice to add an uh, ice helmet, ice chest plate, etc. So that's going to give me more PPs per second. But the real magic comes from me physically clicking, which means I'm probably going to want the sapphire pickaxe over all of them for 200 sapphires because that seems to be the strongest. It only took me gathering 2.1 million picks but we have enough sapphires for the sapphire pickaxe so we're gonna buy one of those while clicking on the creep but look at this bad boy but it mines very quick yeah that seems to be going pretty quick we're making tons well now we got a little boost so we're making 2500 pps a second but the pickaxe is a big improvement so once this little boost is done uh we're going to upgrade some of our other gear we always look for the ones with the biggest gains, so for 1,000 ice blocks, we get an extra 230 picks per second. That basically adds 50% to what we were doing before. That's going to be a big improvement. This is going to be a big improvement. So is this one. So we're up to 1,045 PPS. Can probably afford a few levels up at this point. There's two more. I'm not really sure what companions are, but this increases our chance to find companions, so we're going to take a few of those. And let's unlock the cave while we're at it. We're mining about 10,000 picks every two seconds, maybe a little over two seconds. We need to get that up to under one second. But I'm pretty sure I'm starting to mine some diamonds. We're definitely getting some gold and looks like obsidian, emeralds, but also diamonds. That makes me wonder what the diamond pickaxe is like. The ruby pickaxe is definitely very strong at 15 attack power. The diamond is good for 12 damage, the emerald for 13. So we'll see which one of those we unlock first. We're already at 6 out of 100 for the emeralds. The layers on these levels are also much stronger. Sometimes it takes me a few seconds just to get through a single layer. And there's 100 emeralds, so let's upgrade our pickaxe to the emerald. That's going to give a big boost to damage. Plus, it just looks better. So let's see how much faster it works. Yeah, it's tearing through those levels. These used to take sometimes up to 2 seconds each to tear through. This one goes quick. And if we get a little boost at the same time, that puts us up to 5582 pickaxes per second. So also we should probably upgrade some of our gear because we mined a lot of new materials, some of which should be worth some pretty good upgrades. Like the sharpening stone for 200 picks per second, the lantern for 260 plus the iron gear for 200. Everything else is lesser but maybe still worth it, I don't really know. Diamond boots? Who doesn't like diamond stuff? Maybe we can get full diamond gear while we're at it. Is that worth it? Probably not realistically. Whatever the case, we're now up to 2350 PPS naturally and 11.5 million picks. So we can level up a few more times for sure. So let's upgrade companion chance one more time. We just need a few chests to actually activate that. So maybe increased chance to fight mobs. I assume they drop me good stuff, so that can only help. Now, to unlock the nether, we're going to need 400, what I assume is obsidian. So I'm going to be mining a little while longer, but at least we're doing it at a faster rate now. We're getting 939 per click. Time really flies when you have an emerald pickaxe. We're up to 400 obsidians and almost 15 million picks in total. Before moving on to a new level, let's level up a few more times to see what else we can get. Increase the duration of pickaxe power. I think that means the hyper boost. It gives me like a five times boost to my picks per second. Then let's unlock the nether before spending all the resources we need to unlock the nether. And then we can upgrade our gear. This stuff is expensive. That's 350 uh, redstone for 400 PPs though. That's actually pretty good. And that's 300 PPs. So both of those were up to 3000 PPS. I don't know what materials are here, but it would be cool to get a ruby pickaxe or better. 
which maybe makes me think I'm overlooking some of the details of this game, but we'll just keep doing what we're doing for now because it seems to be working so far. Collecting rubies is taking a little while, and we do have enough for a glowstone pickaxe, which is a little bit better, so we're gonna go for that just to speed up the process to get the ruby pickaxe. Plus, a new visual never hurts. As much fun as it is staring at a uh, swinging pickaxe all day, well, it really just not. And when I get my bonus, we're up to 15,000 pickaxes per second. You know what? While we're at it, let's upgrade some of our gear, because if I can get this number up a little higher, we'll get to where we're going a lot quicker. So maybe I'll just start with the clay axe, and hopefully we can work our way through to never mind. Well, we'll buy what we can. I'm not spending any rubies, but I will spend emeralds. Maybe I should go back and mine some of that stuff at super speed. There is a sapphire amulet for 400 PPS and extra gold bars. Maybe it'd be worth going back to mine some of that basic stuff. Plus, we just get to see how much more powerful we are now as we blink through the levels, because I'm way overpowered for mining this stuff. Already we can afford a sandstone sword and then an ice sword because we have lots of that and then a stone sword then an iron sword. Oh, we're working our way up actually pretty quickly now. This was actually a good idea on my part. One of the few I've ever had. Now hopefully we have enough leftovers to upgrade the sandstone axe. We're going to need more ice for the ice axe. Anything else we can buy yet? Nope, I think we're going back one more level. You can kind of hardly even see what kind of level it is, what kind of ground it is because it just blinks away. So it shouldn't take as long to upgrade our wooden shovel and clay hoe. There's our shovel. And now we just need lots of clay. And I just realized the furnace, I can combine other things to make more valuable things. I'm probably not going to mess with that too much yet because I feel pretty competent in my mining abilities. But when things start getting slow, we're going to start furnacing. I upgraded my shovel, so now we just need a little bit more for that clay hoe. There's the clay hoe, there's the cactus hoe, back to the sandstone I guess. There's just so many things to upgrade and so little time. But there's a clay pot, which might have disappeared altogether. Anyways, we need to go to the next area to mine sandstone. Luckily, it's pretty quick to mine, so this won't take more than a minute. But we got enough for the sandstone hoe, and almost enough for the sandstone shovel. Which means we're back to mining ice, which is exactly the kind of thing uh, it sounds like I would be doing with my time. 20 million picks later, let's get some ice upgrades. Ice sculpture for an extra 150, ice axe for that, ice hoe, ice shovel. Wow, I'm surprised we were able to afford all of those. Hopefully the stone stuff is all the same, and then the... Not quite the iron, the gold though. Okay, do we get iron here at least? It appears we don't. Well, at least we get a new backdrop. And we're up to 4,278 picks per second. Mobs drop more blocks. I haven't seen a mob. Maybe I have and I'm doing this wrong. Whatever the case, I feel I'll get more use out of upgrading my pickaxe fuel. Another 20 million picks later, we can get our iron shovel, our gold hoe, and our diamond axe. Then we're back to mining gold and diamonds again, because of course we are, but at least these are starting to add up. My bonus at this point gets me 22,505 picks per second, which is pretty considerable amount. We're back over 20 million already. I could afford to buy a bunch of other pickaxes if I want to. I'm just not really sure if there's a point. I'm not really sure what these symbols on this side actually mean. I guess the ruby pickaxe is a slight improvement, so let's give that one a try. That looks pretty good. And it's probably moderately faster at mining through this stuff, and that's gonna be a big help to me, because things are getting a little bit slow. At least until I do this, we're at least mining some blocks now. We're also gonna give ourselves a ruby chest plate, just because we wanna be fancy. And another level up means I can get a better one of these. Longer pickaxe fuel. Maybe we should try and summon the next boss. Spend 10 runic, uh, I think we have 60 of those, so let's give that a try and see how this goes. Does that work? Oh, we gotta mine 100 blocks, then we get the boss. But I'm hoping the boss shows up and then unlocks us something very good. A few more blocks to go, there we go, summon boss. Is it the same as last time? Whack-a-mole? Pull the mole, this idiot again. Alright, well, I'm just gonna use my auto clicker once again, and all I gotta do is mouse over them and they die. In a clicker game? I know, right? It's very surprising. I actually missed one. I don't want to talk about that one. I didn't actually think this was going to be at all anything of a challenge, so... It rewarded me. I kind of auto-clicked through that, but I assume there was some good stuff in there. Probably. And then it's only three hours till the next boss. Or is it? 85 more blocks to go. We're going to fight the boss, because I want to see what they actually give you as a reward. This is a new one. I assume it involves lots of clicking. Oh, do I have to follow that thing around? Oh, I see. I, like, send it back at him, and then I smack his booty. Like any good boss. All right, well, let's do that again. Here, you can have that back. You're probably not going to outclick me, considering I'm kicking, like, a thousand times a second. Oh, right, okay, good, yep. My weak spot. Maybe you should have, you know, not covered that with a band-aid. Now, we got netherite brick, uh, riptides, tide mud, nether quartz. The nether brick for sure is good. Those bricks are what I need to unlock the mesa. And I can actually make those out of uh, netherrack or whatever it's called. 
We can make 25 of those. So we're going to smelt 25 of those while I'm mining away. I guess in theory, this is the quickest way to be mining because I'm mining lots of netherrack and stuff right now. And it's going to turn into the netherite bars. Didn't get anywhere close to done my furnace smelting before unlocking the mesa. So we're going to do that right away because I need new stuff and new scenery. I'm sure there's lots of good stuff here for upgrades. There's even blocks that fly across the screen sometimes that I need to click on. Pretty sure those are going to give me a hearty bonus when they do show up and I do manage to hit them. But most importantly, what kind of pickaxes are we after here? Probably the topaz. For 100 topazes, we'll put my damage up to 18. And I think I'm at 15 now. Also, I should have checked back on this after the boss because I can buy the cursed amulet, the nether star, and then this crimson stuff also now. So I'm up to 5,500 PPS. 5,500. So now I just let this game run at 5,500 PPs for the next four days until I record another video and then we'll be rich. Today we're going to take things way too far. But I'm very excited for this because this one's going to save us a lot of time. Now naturally the first thing you do in Minecraft is get wood. Which is then broken down into other stuff. But the main thing we're after right now is of course a pickaxe. This is the most basic of the pickaxes. 2 attack damage, 1.2 attack speed. Nothing too particularly great, especially on dirt. Luckily for us, we have a way to upgrade that a little bit further. But in order to do that, we're going to need just a little bit of wood. I'm not sure how much because my math kind of sucks. Get out of my face. But we're just going to mine wood because we can. Not sure if this is going to be enough. Basically, we just need more pickaxes for now. And then once we have enough, we put them all in a neat little circle. That apparently gives us a knowledge book, which is actually the ultimate wooden pickaxe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to use it yet but there it goes yeah that's gonna make mining a little bit quicker and it can even harvest the cows too but this is gonna make finding any materials i want much easier because look at it go and this is just a wooden one the problem is it does always leave me trapped underground but we are gonna need lots of meat where we're going so let's see if we can get a few cows along the way and as we mine obviously we're gonna work our way under the ground so the cows can come with me. Hey, look at that. We already found our first iron. Let's see how much of that we can mine. Uh, gotta remember, we're already going under the ground. Well, I'm not gonna have any shortage of blocks today, but I'm gonna need some sheep because I might have to make some beds at some point because I'm scared of the dark. This is a very enjoyable mod to use. I'm not entirely sure we have enough wood. And if I jump before I do it, I actually don't mine myself into the ground so bad. But there's all the wood we're gonna need for a little while. And it's not gonna hurt to have a little ham with us either. They don't even know what to think of this. They're just along for the ride. Whoops. That one had some drop to it. Stop. Yeah. You know what? I guess since we have all this stone anyways, we might as well see if we can uh, afford a stone pickaxe or two or three or maybe eight. And uh, thanks to my initial pickaxe, these are way, way too easy to make right now. Then we just got to put them all into place. And that's going to give us our next disaster. So that was how big the wood pickaxe would do. This guy is going to do a much bigger swath. So we're going to mine stuff even faster. And this is probably going to break the game before too much longer. But I'm very much looking forward to that part. Alright, and since we hollowed out a natural house, let's go to sleep for the night. It's time to say goodbye to our wooden friend. Because we have a much bigger one anyway, so let's go find something to hurt. And when I get bored of wandering, I can just go like this. That's going to put a smile on my face every single time I do it. And this is just a stone pickaxe. Well, I am using the term uh, stone pickaxe here a little bit loosely. But I guess you're probably overdue to stop and make a little bit of food. Speaking of food... Are you too close? We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to work on uh, my tool usage technique. Now we just sit back and let the food make itself. I don't really know what I'm being so cheap for. I might as well make a second one of these because we could be smelting iron and other stuff too. It's not like we don't have the resources for it. Plus, let's be honest, I'm going to need some armor at some point. So I might as well see if we can find some iron. Uh, we found some coal. And finding iron really shouldn't take too long with this pickaxe. Finding anything shouldn't take too long. I just gotta be careful not to kill myself in any stupid ways. But I'm feeling lucky about this one. Off you go, little pickaxe. Make me proud. Basically, all the way down to the bottom before I found any iron. But that's okay. We can make this work. Whoops. Whoops. Might as well gather that experience while we're at it. Now I need to find my way back to the surface again. I've barely been playing at all. Uh, but I feel like I've already mined out more than I would in, like, an entire playthrough. And we somehow only found, uh... 24 iron ore, which isn't a lot, but I'll take it for now. The one thing I do really want for now is just a simple sword for when I have one enemy to kill without making a disaster of everything. Probably also going to need some armor too. Okay, so I'm going to make whatever armor I can with what little iron I have, which is just about a full set. Just trying to gather up my camp here and then we'll be on our way. I think I got it all. Well, whatever the case, we're moving on. I want to go that way, so I'm kind of curious to see. It does go uphill pretty nicely. Oh, I don't need to go around mountains anymore. I can just build my own highway. That is so much easier. Normally, it would take like an hour to mine that out. I just did it in 10 seconds accidentally. Seriously? You're laughing at me when I'm holding this? Fine, your funeral. 
the nice house. Hope you like drowning. I'm a little upset that didn't one-shot the witch. Uh, luckily I can give her a slow, painful death. Nobody laughs at me and lives to tell the tale. Well, this appears to be a pleasantly murderable village. We got a chest. Alright, uh, we're gonna give us a bit of room to jump. And we're gonna open that chest. Along with his entire house and pour out all of his secrets onto the ground. Didn't mean to throw it that second time. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, really only managed to throw it the one time. But on the bright side, you do still have a roof, so rebuilding is going to be that much easier. I'm not sure why I'm getting duplicates of this, but I am. It's horribly messy, and I love every bit of it, because I'm accidentally throwing this everywhere, so we're accidentally mining the entire world. If it makes you feel any better, man in the hole, I don't entirely remember why I'm at your village. I guess it's really mostly just to test the destructive capabilities of my pickaxe. There's a little one. Oh, you're going to love this. Here you go. Catch. There's two little ones. Are they multiplying? Is it magic? Are you magic? So it seems like when I have this highlighted and I throw a piece of, uh, like a block out of my inventory, it seems to throw the pickaxe again for some reason, or I get duplicates of it. I don't really know, and I don't really care. Alright, that's a good size building. We're gonna build ourselves up two spaces this time, that way I hopefully don't mine into the ground, and there you go. Perfect! That's so much easier for seeing if they have anything I want to steal or not. I mean, they didn't really. I would take the bread, but I'm too lazy to pick it up. Alright, you guys are kind of disappointing me, so one of your houses please have some iron in it. I'm being extra lazy. I can mine iron in two seconds, but I'd rather take it from the villagers. That's a pretty big hole where there used to be a house. Hope you wanted a basement. I'm just kidding. I don't care if you wanted a basement. Anyways, I think we're overdue to just mine some iron and upgrade our pickaxe even further. So let's find a spot to start a hole. How about here? Good enough for me. We're going to go down at hopefully a slight angle. That way we can walk down and back out again without too much effort. But we just got to find us some iron, just like that. Okay, I just accidentally threw my pickaxe twice, so I have no idea where I am or what's going on around me anymore. I'm also not really sure where the mined iron ore actually went, because things got... Oh, there it is. Things are a little bit chaotic there, so I need to make sure to actually pick that up. Now we're going to try that again. Hopefully pick you up the iron ore once it drops this time. Though the water's going to push it around in all sorts of stupid directions. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to throw this in nice, like... Uh, whoops, that was the bed. That doesn't quite have the same effect. We're just going to throw it in straight line like that. That way we're horizontal mining. That way we're hopefully going to be a little more organized while we're doing this. Found a little more iron right there. Hopefully this isn't going to screw anything up. Perfect. Right through all that beautiful iron. And also everything else. Lots of experience. We're up to 14 iron. I think we need to make 7 pickaxes times 3 iron bars. That should be 21 iron. And I lost my pickaxe. It didn't come back to me. Or my inventory was full. I'm not sure what happened. Did it go down there? I don't know where it is and I don't want to make a new one. Found it. Crisis averted. This little bunch should be the last of what we need. But we're just going to sit here and enjoy all the blocks we're mining currently. Okay, I woke up today and there was a spider on top of me. So that's pretty fun. And it's going to kill me because I don't have my sword in any of my slots. Can you stay over there, please? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a little... Uh, yeah. We're okay for a sec. That was very close. Now to get out of here, I realize I'm going to have to throw my pickaxe and the spider is roughly there. Got it. And everything else in that direction. Oh, there is a skeleton up here. Hello. Thank you for playing the game. You might want to bring a bigger gun next time. I think on this one, I spend more of my time cleaning up my inventory than I do anything else. We've luckily accumulated a lot of wood along the way, so it's not that hard to get all the sticks we need for our extra pickaxes. And there we go. The eight pickaxes we're going to need to make the iron pickaxe of doom. Wait, might have miscalculated by one. There we go. One iron pickaxe. So the stone pickaxe was three attack damage at 1.2 speed. This is four attack damage. So the stone pickaxe would make a hole that big. The iron pickaxe is going to make a hole that big. That is considerably bigger. That's actually alarmingly big. The game is actually liking that so big. But look at all the crap we're going to mine. It's just like a free for all. Uh, Yeah, and look how far that went. That's ridiculous. We're going to have no shortage of anything we want. And I accidentally threw it again. So we've gone way down deeper under the ground. One simple thing I am going to want though. It's just one regular pickaxe too. That way when I have to mine something a little more gingerly. Kind of like this. Okay, I think we're overdue to find some diamonds by this point. Now that we have our uh, super, whoops, super pickaxe. And the mobs aren't really going to be much of a problem anymore. Because we can just go right through them. Now keep your eyes out for diamonds. We're bound to find some very quickly. Still haven't found any yet. We're only on block 38 though. So we need to go a little bit deeper. We don't have to, to throw this at a very hard angle either to get us down deeper. Because it just keeps going and going and going. And I accidentally threw it again. But that's all right think yep we're all the way down to bed bedrock now uh there's a couple diamonds there and then there's also diamonds there i just realized how many diamonds we're gonna need so this is actually gonna take a minute not really that long but uh excuse me sir 
The space is occupied. Hey, look at that, more diamonds. They're just popping up everywhere. Still not sure why that keeps happening. Whoa, oh. Oh, that's alarming. I didn't know I could go through the bedrock. That's terrifying. Okay, we need to not go down there, but we need to find our diamonds somewhere near the scary hole. So the diamonds are up there. The doom hole is over there. I'm just going to build a bit of a railing. Otherwise, I'm very stupidly going to walk into that at some point. And I also need to be careful not to do basically that. But look at all the diamonds we're getting. It's worth the risk. Uh, so far, we only have nine diamonds, but we're going pretty quick. I just got to be sure to keep myself uh, off the bedrock. As I drop myself right back down to bedrock accidentally. But if there's any diamonds, I'll also fall back down to this level. So that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, there weren't any diamonds, so let's throw one upwards. And we just work our way ever downwards. The tricky part about diamonds like this is I can't really mine them with my super pickaxe, because otherwise I'm just going to plow straight down through the uh, bedrock, and then I'm going to have another doom hole, and I want less doom holes to contend with. I guess for the time being, though, I can make a single diamond pickaxe. But now that that's done, I'm going back to throwing this thing around, and I'm starting to get the hang of how this one works pretty good. Actually finding diamonds pretty quickly now because there was a little uh, note of them there and there's a note of them here. We are going to throw the pickaxe at these ones though because I think I can get away with this. Yep, there we go. Look at all those diamonds. 24, so that's more than enough to make our new pickaxe. A lot of creepers have spawned in behind us. Uh, Luckily we have our armor so they're not too scary but they can be a pretty big inconvenience to me because that still hurts. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and make our new pickaxe now because it seems I left my old pickaxe behind somewhere. And hopefully I got the math correct on this one, so pickaxe one. Okay, then we can put all of these together. There we go, our super pickaxe. Then I'm gonna make one more regular pickaxe for the same reasons as before. Sometimes you need a gentler touch. But alright, let's see how this goes straight up. Pickaxe, take us to the moon. Oh, the game didn't like that at all. Look at all this stuff falling down. Oh, it took us all the way out to the surface again. Oh, that's not a good sound. How deep are we? We went from 18 all the way to the surface with a single throw. And then the pickaxe also didn't come back. Oh, there it is. Now I just need to go through all the water to try and get it to reappear in my inventory. And that's going to be a little bit annoying. Because now we have to get rid of all the stacks of crap we just mined mining all the way to the surface. Wait, there it is. Got it. So one single pickaxe though was enough to mine all of this out. That is a big, big pickaxe throw. Hi pig, wanna go for a ride? Okay, good talk. I guess that means we're probably overdue to make a bucket, and somehow I didn't keep any of the iron ore I found along the way. Well, I was hoping to find an area with a little bit less water, I found my way back to my original holes. But if there's one thing I'm confident in, we're gonna find some iron that way. Pickaxe, go to work. Yep, there, <laughs> I think we found some iron ore. It just takes a minute for the pickaxe to get back to us because it spends so much time mining over there, but now we're gonna take some of this iron ore and then smelt it so we can make a bucket, and then we're going to the nether. And that, my friends, should be a disaster of unparalleled proportions. While we're waiting for that to smelt, let's go over here and just throw this again because it's just too much fun watching this thing go to work. As annoying and dangerous as that is, it really makes a mess of this world. The game does not like that one little bit. And I think I could probably understand why. Look at the gaping hole it leaves and everything it touches. Okay, there's the bucket we're going to use to hopefully make another portal. And because we are going there, I've also completed my iron set, so now we have the full iron uh, set. Is this a new village or the one I found before? I guess it doesn't really matter. They've got bad things coming their way. There you go. We're giving you guys a renovation today. We just incinerated those first two houses. There is nothing left of those. Come back. I need my pickaxe back. Wait. Wow, that really does a lot of damage. That's just way too much fun. A villager even came down in the hole. They seem to be falling in because they like it so much. You're welcome, guys. I'll send you the invoice later. Look at all these sheep. I was just thinking I should probably gather more food, so this is my opportunity. Sorry guys, but I need to kill you. Didn't work as well as I planned, but at least we're kind of funneling th them down into the hole. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can work with this. Now I just need to remember how this part actually works. That was not really smart of me, but who here is really surprised about that? It's perhaps not the prettiest of portals, but I'm making it work. Well, the struggle is real, but we did it. Okay, let's be really stupid and just dive on into this. Right. Okay, so far so good. So the first thing we're going to do is move away from our portal so as not to destroy it with our magical pickaxe and then throw it that way. And that's actually kind of terrifying to do here, but we're just going to mine like this for a minute and see where this takes us. Hmm, I just realized how much lava flow. Hey, it's coming back. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I think slow and steady is going to win this race. Hey, there's a first enderman. I wonder if our pickaxe can one-shot an enderman. Hey, you. Oh, I can. 
Excellent. All right. That's going to uh, save us a lot of time too. Okay. I accidentally threw that a second time, so I'm not really sure where I am. Let's just go back up here. Using a regular pickaxe feels so slow and stupid at this point that I don't know if I even want to do this. I might as well just use the dangerous way because at least it's faster. I think if I'm really, really careful, I can actually kind of make my way around using this pickaxe, but I need to be careful how I throw and I really need to pay attention to what it's mining into. But if we just keep heading in one direction, eventually we'll find something we need. And we already have a problem with a pig, um, so I'm going to have to build myself up and try and kill it. I don't really know how yet. Maybe if I can do everything to be kind of over here because the pigs aren't going to be happy to see me either. Oh, he picked up my weapon. Then if we get everyone in that direction, we can kill everyone all at once. Does that work? That kind of works. Ooh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to have to make some gold stuff pretty soon, but luckily we're mining lots of gold as we're doing this because if I get attacked by any more things, I'm very boned. That scares me every time that I accidentally throw it, and I do that a lot. Just throwing blocks out of my inventory, then the pickaxe launches. Anyways, I turned the gold nuggets into uh, one gold helmet, and that's going to be enough for now because we're going to need the rest of this gold anyways uh, for the piglin trades. But I can also find ancient debris if I go deeper too, so I might also mine some of that because... What we really need is a bigger pickaxe, obviously. Oh, look at those idiots. Well, you know what? We can hurt them before they even know we're here. The lava's going to be kind of annoying here, but whatever. We'll make this work. Only drop down a little bit there, but the pickaxe is going to go right on past them, apparently. Okay, my new way of dealing with these guys is this. We let them burn for a second. We'll either get some meat or we won't. Either way... We're going to be okay. Yeah, we did. We got the cooked pork chops out of that. One of the big problems with mining this way, as I'm learning, um, is that it releases a lot of uh, lava into my trench and that burns all the blocks. So I don't necessarily get whatever falls on the ground because I'm looking for some ancient debris. But I don't know if this is going to work. My pickaxe just rebounded. Oh, I thought it went into the lava. That was so close. Okay, well, we're going to be very careful because we're on the edge of it right here. And nothing we can conceivably use over here. So let's move on. Have a bit of an issue with some pigs behind me. Uh, I think we've outrun them though. So yeah, let's put ourselves up here. And then yeah, we were way ahead of them. All right, they're fighting now. I don't have to deal with either one of them. I'll take the meat though. That's mine. I saw it go away okay mining in here is a disaster so i'm just gonna run i'm just gonna run aimlessly until i find what we're looking for and anytime i see one of them it's on but then yeah anytime i throw a pickaxe i basically get a river of lava but that no doubt is gonna stop someone with my determination there's an enderman i need his stuff they're just gonna leave all this gold sitting right here for me to take don't mind if I do. I'm not going to use my big pickaxe for this. It's tempting to do so, but I need to leave this place kind of intact for a minute. I think the only reason I'm not being absolutely obliterated right now is because of how this place spawned. I know they're everywhere, but they just, they can't really get to me. This isn't the most optimal of trading circumstances, but I'm just going to go for this because this is safe and fairly easy for now. So this guy's going to get 100 bars of gold. We got here so amazingly fast thanks to my super pickaxe and I can afford to take my time here to make sure I just don't die. See, now it's a party. Just leave a pile of gold and all their friends come running. So far, I do see some pearls. We have eight so far, so we're doing not bad. I'm not sure how many gold bars are left, but hopefully enough for them to give me the trades. Since I don't have a lot of faith in them to Give me the rest of the gold. Okay, we took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's go up right here. Ow, stop. Stop. Ow, stop. This is going to be trouble. Okay, I didn't expect to run into him so soon. Uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can go up here and get away from him. Stay back. Back. That's going to be a problem. Really smart of me to die so close to the lava as well. Re really like that. All right. So before going back in there to try and retrieve what's left of my stuff, I made myself some netherite stuff just because I'm not really going to be able to mine it. And that way we can just kind of get this done. But I figure while we're at it, let's escalate just one more time. Let's make a super netherite pickaxe uh, to see what that's going to do to this poor world. All right. I obviously took a lot of time to very legitimately grind up all this netherite. And there we are, one super netherite pickaxe. This seems like it might be a good test uh, of what this pickaxe is capable of, so let me just get a few blocks to stand on. All right, I'm going to aim it roughly at that mountain, and um, we're <laughs> going to see what happens. Let's take out a lot of blocks along the way. Let's see if we can follow it. Yeah, it's mining absolutely a huge swath through the, well, everything. I meant to hit more of the mountain, but we just kind of made like a gap under the mountain, but that's still pretty satisfying to me. That's also hugely dangerous i'm not sure yeah it did come back to me even so one throw of the pickaxe mined out this entire thing we could probably go straight to bedrock with one throw probably through the bedrock so i need to be careful not to go downwards this might be a fun spot for this all right ready and jump and throw i definitely threw that with an upward trajectory but sure we'll just pretend that didn't work 
I'm also going to move out of here because if the pickaxe comes back and lands in the water, uh, it's not going to be good. Wow, the game does not like this one little bit. Look at all the earth falling. Well, isn't this a nice little village they have here? It'd be a shame if someone came and threw a monster pickaxe through it. This is just a drill. Practice for if this ever really actually happens. That was a loud sound. Uh, we got one of the houses destroyed. Completely destroyed. I think we're going to take off just a corner of that one. And a little bit of that one. We just kind of gave him some ventilation. We're going to go right under that one. The villagers fall in and die. I really like this pickaxe. The horse took a crash. And I'm not entirely sure where my pickaxe went. But it didn't seem to have come back to me. Never mind. I found it. It is bounced. Definitely feel like we can do a little better for these poor villagers. I would really want to show off the power of this pickaxe for them. Now they'll understand a little better. It's like a helicopter of doom. It just tears through everything. It does not discriminate against any block or creature. It just keeps on going and going and going, murdering anything in its path. Okay, and I'm really excited now to see what the Ender Dragon's going to do against my pickaxe. So let's pretend I did this all very legitimately. Uh, and then we're probably pretty close to the stronghold, I suspect, because if we move over a little bit, triangulation. So 64 Eyes of Ender should be enough. Now the stronghold is somewhere down there. I'm going to do something a little bit risky and go like that. Hopefully not obliterating the stronghold entirely, but this should get us somewhere near the edge of it hopefully uh well it's gonna get us down deep at the very least hi sir i have a netherite sword so please don't hit me oh whoa i see it <gasps> uh oh did i destroy it i can see it from here though that's so cheating so that was a pretty good throw because not only did it get me basically all the way to the stronghold but also straight into the room i need but i was also very very close to destroying it because it was here. I think it's right above me. Was I not seeing that correctly? Or did I actually destroy it? I feel like it's supposed to be right here in front of me somewhere. I really can't throw that pickaxe again. Because I might have already destroyed it. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like basically here. But obviously this is a cave. Okay, never mind. I did find a little bit more. Okay, there it is. Wow, three of them. How about that? Alright, let's see what the Ender Dragon thinks of our ridiculous pickaxe. Oh, this is a dangerous spawn also. But this will also give me a good opportunity to get rid of some blocks permanently so they won't find their way back to me ever again. He says before realizing he's going to need a million to bridge across the gap. Yep, I can see this going real well. All right, I've waited a long time for this. Where, Where is he? Uh, oh, okay. I was like, oh, he didn't even spawn in. So I wonder if I could just time it to hit him because it's... Oh, that's not... Oh, we killed him. That was easy. I was worried we were going downwards too fast. Okay, that pickaxe is probably a little bit overpowered. But we did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon. Now we get all the experience and my pickaxe will find its way back to me eventually. I also didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, anyways, that's going to work its way downwards at a pretty rapid rate. Um, I was expecting the Ender Dragon to put up at least a little bit of a fight or not die one hit. But that pickaxe is just way, way, way overpowered. And... Um, <laughs> I kind of destroyed that. So next on my list of things to murder, the Wither. Just going to wait till he's properly spawned in and ready to do his thing. Are you allowed to be hurt yet? That's okay. Take your time to collect yourself. I've got nothing but time. All right. Eat pickaxe. Oh, where's it going? Oh, I don't know if it hit him. I went under him. Uh-oh. But at least we're going to get more of a battle out of him. Look at him. He doesn't even want to fight. He's just chasing animals around. Hey, it's my job to harm the animals of this world. I think I missed again. He's too quick. He like dodges it. Okay, this time we're going to get real, real close. Got him. I didn't get him. Maybe it just can't hit him. I don't really know what to make of that. Really not sure why it's not hitting him. Or also where the wither... Where is it going? It's way over there. Come back. I still love you. We made the dragon look so easy. And this thing just takes off. Like I don't... I can't even keep up with it. It's just gone. So what do you think happens if we throw this pickaxe on the top of a mountain straight down? Oh, that's a long ways down. And we died. But I want to see how far the pickaxe is going to go. So let's see if it mines all the way through. So we went from the top of the mountain. That's not to bedrock, but it's just about to bedrock, I think. Hey, look, all my stuff is still here. We're on 35 and we started way above the surface. So that was from one throw of the pickaxe. I really like this mod. We're going to have fun with this. Today, we're going to have some fun with a legendary pickaxe. And that starts with me shoplifting this thing. Normally, the top pickaxe we use is the boring common pickaxe. And it makes common size holes. So it would take a long time to mine this entire claim if we wanted to. Which, spoiler alert, we do. Now, to start this absolutely useless adventure, we need 300 iron. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to need is something that's really going to enable my laziness. Like this little tear in reality itself. 
Now when I want to go back to the store to buy stupid stuff, I can do so in an instant. And something else that's really going to help right now is the golden pan. Just add a little bit of dirt and suddenly we have a huge amount of everything. Or 16 pounds of gold so far. But they did also come with a little bit of iron, so let's try and get an idea of how many of these we're going to need. We need 300, this one was 16. But I'm going to keep this gold in a safe place for now because I know eventually I'm going to need more. Now, while I'm slowly but quickly mining up the iron, let me zone out and dream about the coffee I should have in my hand. Yes. There's a quicker way to do this, but I'm just going to be stupid. And don't worry, things are going to escalate. They always do. This bucket is what I call the jackpot. There's four giant pieces of iron in there, which is pretty much half of my pickaxe. Okay, time to see if we've yet got 300 iron. We're so close. And yes, I could easily spawn in or duplicate all of this, but I want to feel the burn. Also, this is the gold and everything else we found while finding this bit of iron. So that should about do it if we put these two together with the other one. Then we put the iron on the table and I believe hit it with this. And there we go, a new iron pickaxe. And he even gave us our change back and some iron. So these are the bites the common pickaxe was doing, very common holes. The iron pickaxe, <laughs> considerably bigger, but would still take a little while to mine the entire claim, which I am going to do because there's treasure down there somewhere. So let's get started. 600 golds, which is about 40 of these. I've also just found my first piece of cloudium. This may or may not be enough gold. 640, perfect. We'll go ahead and throw that on there, hit it with the hammer, and then we get a new pickaxe, gold. So let's see what kind of bites this takes. We'll find a nice big hill. Yeah, that's getting bigger quickly. And there's so many more to go. This is gonna get so stupid and really expensive. This already wants 1,000 worth of shards. That's enough shards to fuel the entire sun. So far we've mined like seven or eight of these. Each of these weighs 15 pounds. So we have 100 pounds of shards, one tenth of the way there. It it's time to escalate. I know somewhere here is what's known as the god drill. So we're going to rely on these a little bit to mine the resources we need because they work pretty quickly. See, look at that. We've already found our first shard. Uh, things are backing up a little bit, so I need to perfect my uh, thing, but you get the idea. Probably going to need more of these things. Since we seem to have a little gem up here, we're going to need the resources to have a little more room to fall into. So I've gone ahead and created a nice little gathering hole. Then when we have a gem up, I just use the magnet to pull everything away and drop it into the hole and pick up what I need. And then once the jam up's clear, turn it back on and away it goes producing stuff at a stupid rate until it jams up again very quickly. Basically, I'm just trying really hard to not make a conveyor system right now because that takes a lot of work in itself. So I'm just going to continue shifting my pal over and before you know it, we're going to have enough resources in here. And I broke it already. Wait, never mind. The game just took a second to think and I don't know what's going on with that thing, but that's very broken. You can stop now. Please stop. You're scaring me. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and pull that thing out. And it was still producing dirt for a second, and now I can't put this down. Anyways, we've got things more or less under control again. Now we can very quickly and easily pick up all the shards out of there, and we might actually have enough by now. My style of mining has evolved to moving my massive pile of valuable ore to try and find the stuff I need within it. Think I've plucked all the tasty parts out of there. Let's put that all together and see what these weigh. Well, apparently that one weighs 2,000 pounds. This one weighs 2,800. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how these got so heavy. I guess that thing this mine's really heavy stuff. And I'm okay with that because now we can make the shard pickaxe, which definitely is the coolest looking pickaxe so far. And it takes rather big bites out of things. But we're not done yet. 1,000 pounds of emeralds. That means we need one of these to figure out how much each and every emerald weighs. This is going to take a little while. Then again, maybe not. Every emerald that comes out of the god drill seems to weigh about 100 pounds. So it's really just a matter of digging the emeralds out of my garbage pile. And then when I run out of those, use a little bit of magical power to expedite this process just a little. I don't really remember how this thing works, if it even can work with this kind of emeralds. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm just going to go ahead and plop them all up here and hope this works. I'm not sure if that's enough emeralds, but apparently it is with some change left over. Now we need 1300 sapphires, but this is also a thing of beauty. And while this is pretty big, it would still take quite a while to dig through this entire claim looking for artifacts. They're down here somewhere, but you can see it's still going to take a while. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to dig through this, but okay. On to the next pickaxe. Each one I find is 100 pounds and they're worth $2,500. And I can smash all of these together to make bigger and bigger sapphires. So I'm going to end up with one singular one at the end worth 1,300 pounds. And that's going to look something like this. Mm, I feel like they used to look bigger than this. But this one weighs probably a lot. 700 pounds. Probably because I cheated that in. But that's more than enough we to make the next pickaxe. Which should be blue. And apparently it doesn't like what I've done. Is it too much sapphire? Exact payment. 
Please let this work. Huh? Why aren't you working? Well, let's pretend that this worked, and now we have a sapphire pickaxe. So that was whatever, this was bigger, this should be bigger again. And yes, it's quite large. This is getting to the point where we probably could fairly reasonably mine this claim. It would take a bit of time still, but it wouldn't be that bad. Now for the next huh? nightmare we have to deal with. 1600 rubies which isn't actually that bad because the rubies have been pretty common we've actually been really lucky with those like you can see a whole bunch just in this little pile we mined just gotta spread out the loot pile a little bit so we can see what's in there okay rubies definitely were a little bit rarer than the other ones because we definitely don't have a ton of them but what we did have was 500 pounds of them so if someone was to say multiply that twice we would have enough actually we wouldn't we need one more yeah whatever math is hard sometimes so let's see if we can find this one more ruby without absolutely destroying the game and we're gonna need some magna power the game's not gonna love that but there you go spread out my little friends give me something red a anytime no a i'm ready give us a ruby okay we got what we need let's see if we can shut this thing off this time and there and just like magic ruby pickaxe let's take a second to admire its beautiful color before we use it to destroy something okay so going back to the other holes big bigger bigger -er, and very big that's like the size of a new coal almost so that gives me a little idea i need to take this for a walk i just really wanted to see what kind of damage a pickaxe like this would do to the original ground we get this is unreasonably big and we've got more pickaxes to go and quite a few of them i think but for now we're just going to enjoy strip mining this just for fun think about all the gold we're missing out on here oh it turns out there was actually an artifact in here i didn't think there was but there we go we found our first one we'll take that Sword Relic. This is a small claim, but that took me 60 seconds to mine out half of it. As for this sword, pretty sure we put that in one of these. And we got three more to find. We need bigger pickaxes. So what was it we needed? 700 Claudium. And believe it or not, I might actually have that sitting on the ground already. We got strangely lucky with this right off the bat. We were finding pieces almost immediately. The tricky thing is it plays hide and seek. It blends in with both the dirt and the gold. So let's go ahead and brush the hair just a little bit. There's a piece the game absolutely loves every time I throw this mountain of gold around. And I really gotta say, if you want to make an idea like this easier, just cheat and use things with God in their name. There is another one. And I'm gonna try and open up a little more room below uh, these. There we go. Now we have a bigger ore hole. Now let's find more Claudium. Uh, can you stop jamming up, please? I, well, we'll make this work. It's fine. I see a piece, so we're gonna go ahead and stop. I said stop. Okay, there's at least a few pieces now because it wouldn't stop. And I've accidentally Scrooge McDucked myself. Anyways, we still need more, so we're gonna have to go ahead and unjam this and hopefully find some Claudium in there. There is one. Actually, good news. There was three of them hiding down there. I think that's gonna be enough. I love God Drills. Those are gonna be my new favorite thing ever. And this weighs 916. I'm pretty sure that's 50% more than we actually needed. But that's kind of my rule of life. 50% more than what's needed. Yes. And boom. Claudium pickaxe. Its color is definitely less exciting than the other one, but it's not the color that matters, it's the size. And yeah, that's definitely bigger than this one. Uh, they're gonna get really big because I think they're increasing by like 40 or 50 percent each time so yeah that's gonna get fun i'm also definitely gonna get myself hopelessly stuck many times but that's also absolutely bananas that we do that much damage with a few little picks and since our golden swimming pool is getting a little dirty again let's go ahead and dig it down just a little more starting here that's fun okay and we'll take a bite over here uh it's gonna make it harder to work but whatever it takes to get the results so let's put this to the test we've gone back to our original ground and then we're gonna see roughly how long it would take to mine this out because i feel like it's not gonna take long at all especially if i start on the edges and do this intelligently for once and then we can jump across and do the same finding the edges of our swimming pool it would be kind of fun to fill this with gold but in case you're wondering this has taken me 60 seconds at best so far to mine out pretty much this entire thing because we're just taking enormous bites every time we touch anything and i'm finding this really satisfying i don't know if we're gonna find more treasure in here it's unlikely but i'm hopeful that took a couple minutes at best if i'd have done intelligent i could probably do that in 60 seconds but now we're gonna do the same on the upper part of the claim that everyone forgets about i have always been curious as to what these actually look like when they're all emptied out to try and get a scale of the volume of them so after claudium comes the onyx pickaxe if this thing would register correctly we need four 400 pounds of onyx which is actually a lot because we've mined all of this stuff so far i don't know if i've seen a single piece of onyx yet i mean there might be one in there somewhere all right everyone keep your eye out for something black let me know if you see one for now i'm just gonna have it rain valuable ore into my gold hole still haven't seen one 
I just want to try and put some perspective onto how rare Onyx is. We might be here for a long time before we see the first one. Or maybe something bugged out and it's not giving us any Onyx, because you think we might have seen One Piece by now. So I spent my entire day drinking coffee and watched Gold fall into a hole. Oh wait, there's actually one sitting right there. Don't know when that dropped in. Must have been when I was drinking coffee. Like, to show you how much gold we've mined. Oh, I'm not Scrooge McDucking it anymore. But there's a lot of ore sitting here. Each piece of incredibly rare Onyx is worth 25,000 for 100 pounds of it. Luckily for us, we don't need an entirely lot of it. That should be enough just like that if that would just hold still. That should create us the Onyx pickaxe, which looks like that's as far as we can craft. But don't worry, we're not done yet. This absolutely destroys the ground we're walking on. Like it's hard to even walk over it, but I pretty much just mined a shaft like across the entire claim and it took all of five seconds to do so. And I'm not even digging this to its full capacity. Like I could be digging deeper than that, but in the last like 10 seconds, I dug an entire canyon. Oh, I see what it's saying there is we can make the claim destroyer we just need uh, a million scrap and I definitely think that's necessary because uh, we need whoops a little more room to uh, work with here this is pretty ridiculous though like a few bites and look at how much deeper we've gone and moved all of our material I actually have no idea how to make that much scrap but we got a few things we can try. Before doing that, I want to ride my avalanche of material down to the bottom of my hole. It's just no good if it's up there floating. We need it sitting at the bottom. That way I can fill this thing up. All right, that's a pretty big hole. Uh, there's a lot of material down there. And even with the god drills, uh, it would take a long time to fill that up. Well, not a long time, but it would take a few minutes. And no, this isn't going to help this scrap yet. I'm just having fun filling holes. I wish you were more reliable so I could let you run for a while, but you're not. I know you'd break the game if I let you sit here for too long. So let's go make some scrap. I think actually I have a fun way to do this. If we steal something from here and put it on this big thing, then push the fun button, that turns into a piece of scrap that weighs 80 pounds. So all we would need is 12,500 of those. But that kind of makes me wonder if the weight of things is tied intrinsically to its value. Like is a $13,000 very valuable throne worth more in scrap? You'd think it would be because that was made of pure gold. It's probably not super light. Yeah, there we go. That's 3,600 pounds. So so then what about something worth that much? <laughs> Take that, God. Okay, that's worth 2.5 million pounds somehow, so that's fine by me. I'm actually surprised at how well this just kind of worked. I expected to have to cheat that really bad. Still did, technically. And it's not accepting of my large mountain of scrap. It might be too big. That does say 2.5 million, though I'm not exaggerating that. Well, abracadabra, here's the claim destroyer. It looks really sort of nondescript. It just looks like a rusty pickaxe. So yeah, that's it. This is uh, the highest tier pickaxe we can craft. So why is it called the Claim Destroyer? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. I thought it was acting a little strangely uh, as soon as I touched it. Wow, these are actually really deep holes once you're all the way down here. Like that was a deep hole full of gold before, but now look at this. I'm also not seeing any artifacts yet, so I think this claim was a dud, so this was a waste of our resources. Can somebody let me out of here? It definitely looks kind of cool from up here though. So let's take this claim destroyer to other places. Also, has this place always been here? I've never seen this in my life. Anyways, we've got another claim to destroy. Before doing that, we need to buy it, of course. That's only fair. If you have any guesses on where the artifact is going to be, place your bets now. Then we're going to click and wait for the game to catch up with itself. And there we are. We seem to have not found any artifacts here, at least not that I can see, but we have another big hole. For the first time, I really am appreciating how much dirt there are in these places. Like to actually mine all this through to the bottom would be a colossal undertaking. That brings us to Mildew's Aquifer. I don't like mildew much, but we're going to find his treasure. Well, I gave it a little one of these. That should clean things up nicely. And where's my artifacts? I wonder if the pickaxe just destroys the artifacts because it's too powerful. We do have a few more places to try, but I'm getting a little worried we've ruined things. Or maybe they're just hidden in places that I don't even know about. Let's try the snow ground. I'm very unfamiliar with this, so I really don't know what this is going to look like or if there's going to be anything here. That's a big hole. It's so nice and circular, too. Do you see what I see, though? No artifact. Nothing. Just air. Air is free. I don't want air. I guess we could try this place. It's the only place left to dig, I think. I just hope we're able to afford it. Uh, I've never actually dug in here, but I'm pretty sure it's horizontal digging, as I recall. So we're going to go ahead and yep, there we go. No more dirt. I think that sends resources to the top, but also no artifact. I'm going to click on more things, but I'm not seeing anything of use. There is something sitting up there I'm a little curious about, so we'll go look at that. But I don't think I can mine anything else, even with the mega pickaxe destroyer. Okay, up here is just some 
pancakes waffles. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, we found one out of four. Oh, but but look at that. They were sitting here the whole time. I just looked right past them. So we'll go ahead and throw these on here and see what happens. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be an order to this or whatever, but that one goes there. That one needs to go back on there. And this opens now that we have four or six relics, which leads us to the ultimate treasure chest. A treasure chest. That's not even a lot of gold. I mine more than that in 10 seconds. A treasure chest. That's only worth sixty-eight thousand dollars. It would take so long to find that. And you were worried with sixty-eight thousand dollars. I've got an idea. That's gonna. Be, I got an idea. You just sit there for a second, and enjoy yourself. I'm assuming the Mega Pickaxe destroys all the uh, resources within the ground, including the artifacts. That's why I couldn't find it. But. Now for the fun part. I need to see if we can fill up this original claim with ore and gold using the god drills. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can. It's just going to take a little bit of effort, mostly in jamming the drills, but you can see they're already off to a pretty good start. They produce such big gold, it piles up really quick. I mostly just need to sit here like a babysitter with my magnet on a stick. This might actually work a little bit quicker than I thought. I added a third drill, which is jamming up, but we're producing resources so fast that this won't actually take that long. My ever-expanding ambition has caused me to double the amount of drills Again, so we're up to six drills now, just filling it up. Also, because this gives me more to do. I'm constantly having to fix jams. Can't help but notice the game slowing down just a little bit at this point. Okay, things are really starting to fill up now. Sometimes we're getting a pile of gold all the way up to the drills themselves and blocking them. I have been doing my best to magnet power things to make the piles even, but it's pretty hard to move right now. The game is, as you can see, a little bit laggy for some reason. I've shut all the drills off for a second just so I can try and reload in and hopefully get a fresh start at this. But in case the game doesn't load in, we did a pretty good job at filling the hole with gold and stuff. I managed to make the game load in again. It's laggy no matter what I do, but I'm going to try and smooth out the piles a little bit, probably unsuccessfully. That's the best I could do. Like, I cannot move in there because the game just shuts down immediately. But I consider that pretty successfully filling in my hole. It's some environmental remediation. I removed the dirt and took the ore out, and then I put the ore back for some reason. Anyways, here's an overview of all the pickaxes we went through today in increasing order of power all the way to this bad boy. So, on to the next one. He looks so happy, but that's only because he has no idea that I'm about to make him dig 1,000 kilometers into the earth for my amusement. And if he dies along the way, all the better. Now we had a pretty good mountain of treasure when we last left off, so we need a lot more. So for now, we're going to spend $100,000 on the large bag. The next one is considerably more expensive, so it's going to be a minute before we get there. And now to see if I even remember how to get to the bottom. I mean, it was like four days ago that I played. That's like 10 years in old people time. Maybe we'll start with blueprints. I feel like unlocking some new tools probably couldn't hurt. The cobalt drill is now available in this store. Yay, another thing I'm not going to use. I remember there being a lot more valuable at this depth, but this was the last thing we were able to find, so it's the most valuable thing that I can currently mine. Unless, of course, you consider the value of crushing yourself with a rock a thousand times in a row. So glad I upgraded my backpack so I can fill it full of nothing valuable. There we go. You just gotta whine enough that the game starts to listen. This right here is the single most valuable spot I've found so far in the entire game. I really want to start finding the kind of gems that are gonna make me never have to work ever again. So I can finally crush this idiot with a rock and not resurrect him. Good news, I can get my backpack over half full before I run out of light. Once we finally once again reach the surface, we'll find out if all this effort is going to be worth it. And I feel like it is. But that's also coming from me. Come on, big money. That looks like a lot of good stuff. $287,000. So yeah, that's worth it. And that puts up, up to $450,000. One more trip, we'll get the better pickaxe. Which means faster mining and therefore more money. All we need is a faster pickaxe. We don't need to be able to see where we're mining or where we're going. I just need pure speed. I also brought another one of these. That way we can go down another 100 floors to hit floor 500. There's always something good at 500. The downside of this is I'm gonna have to help my stupid elevator every step of the way because it gets stuck on everything and I'm pretty sure it can still crush me so it's also very dangerous. I'm actually really glad they don't have a tally of how many times I've been crushed by the elevator because it would be embarrassing. I'm finding lots of jade and titanium on these floors so that's a really good sign. And my elevator basically finds this stuff for me. As annoying as it is, it does find me a lot of good stuff on the way down. I don't even know why this little moron needs a light. He can't even see past his helmet. Oh good, a barrier. To which I need the cobalt drill to go through. So let's go spend a lot of money on an upgrade I don't want. But I guess when you're starting to make that much money, 454000 you can afford a few unnecessary upgrades. So the iron drill is $100,000, which isn't a big deal. The cobalt is $500,000. I would way rather have the pickaxe, but it says drill, so we're gonna drill. While we're at it, we might as well get the bigger drill tank and fill that thing up with fuel. So let's see how this zillion dollar upgrade handles. 
levels. It is actually pretty fast. I might like this quite a bit. Plus, I found a ruby that's playing hard to get. But once I see it, I can't stop myself. I might have forgot to wait for the elevator. Don't you worry about that. That only happens like 40% of the time. But this drill is also going to be wildly dangerous. On the way down, thanks to my big lantern, I noticed that. A blue gem. We've never had a blue gem before. I'm both impressed and alarmed at how fast this thing can drill through the ground. Oh, there's another sapphire there. I feel like things are in the extra, extra valuable once we get below this. Oh, is that the end of my... Oh, it ends right there. I'm going to need a new elevator. So let's go exploring below floor 500. was really hoping I could get rid of some of those rocks. But I can work around the rocks for now, especially if I'm finding lots of this stuff. And my drill is out of fuel. Didn't even fill my backpack halfway full. I really wish I didn't have to use that drill because now this feels so slow in comparison that I really want to start drilling again, but that's so dangerous. But then again, what have I got to lose? I die like 6 out of 10 runs anyway. Well, we got 35 high value items. That's going to be good enough for now. Our last load of crap got us about $500,000 if I remember. I want to get like 500 million per load. How do we make that happen? This one is worth 500,000 again. Definitely going to buy the Horrorite pickaxe. The next Next one is going to be three times as expensive. It's the incredible pickaxe. Also going to upgrade my grab hook because I dig down way too quickly. And buy another elevator because I'm impatient. This thing has some range to it. Now I can be even more reckless. Let's test this pickaxe out. Breaking dirt in one hit. So that's a huge upgrade. Then we're going to put the next elevator right here. It's going to work its way down into the valuable land. Could we maybe stop finding those gems though? They look kind of nice, but they're so worthless by this stage in the game. These are what I want now. Sapphires. I want nothing but sapphires. This right here is why I'm very glad I bought the grappling hook because if I was to go one more step forward, I would die. I was just able to pull myself out of there as I find a new teleporter. This was a pretty good find because this is going to save me so much time and make me so much richer. And look at all the valuables here. I could just do this all day. This is just fun. The dirt at this depth again takes two hits even with this pickaxe. So we're definitely getting pretty deep. Our depth is 587. Now before we kill ourselves with stupidity again, let's go make some profit. Like a lot of it. Look at all those gems. 565,000. And that's basically all the money we have right now. But I can take my big ass light down to the very bottom. And then we'll really be able to illuminate all the valuables hiding out there. Now we're getting somewhere. Diamonds have to be worth a lot. I mean everyone knows that. We We've all played Minecraft and it looks like there's going to be a few of them around. They seem to appear after floor 600 and they appear a lot. Oh, a purple one. I found about three diamonds by the time I found one purple one. So clearly this is also going to be something of incredible value. My bag's only half full, but I bet that's still worth a modest $607,000. I'll be able to get the better pickaxe before you know it. Just one more enormous mountain of gems and minerals. That's all it's going to take. I bet you there's some really good stuff down at floor 1000. I'm not even going to explore around here too much. If I can go deeper, I can make that much more value that much quicker. Definitely didn't just get crushed by a rock. He deserved it anyway. Progress suddenly feels a little bit harder to make if I have to work my way around all these stones. Look at that massive chain of rocks working its way down. I need to pick my lifts better. That absolutely shouldn't have counted. I was jumping up over a rock as it was falling and apparently that crushed you. So that kind of really sucks. Well, let's go fill up our bag with 50 diamonds again. And I brought another elevator down. We're going straight to the bottom. If I can never find my way around these stupid log jams. Okay, the drill is too dangerous. We're not going to use the drill anymore. Normally, I do enjoy crushing people with rocks. But when those people make me rich, we have to wait until I'm rich before I crush them. Maybe when I'm done with this more and I'll put them into people playground. At this depth, over 700, even the regular dirt takes like four or five hits with this pickaxe to break. And since the dirt is this low to mine, I think we're just going to take our 20 items up and exchange them for a better pickaxe. I'm a very busy person after all. I do hope there was enough value in that. 530,000. Yep, things are definitely getting better. Still one incredible pickaxe for 1.5 million, which looks to be the top pickaxe. That means we gotta be close to some really good stuff. It even looks super, but also still takes two swings to break the dirt. And that's above 700. So then what's down further? So far it's just super slow digging. Even with the super pickaxe, this is three hits per every piece of dirt. And we still can't do anything about the rocks. Progress from this point forward will not be quick, but it will be worth it. I saw something new and red over here, so I definitely need to put that in my mouth. I have no idea what that is, but I want it. He was even excited. It's horror right. I already have a pickaxe made out of that, but that's cool. But I'm not going to complain. If the game wants to keep throwing this at me, that's fine. We'll be rich 
in no time. And since the elevator's stuck again and I don't want to deal with it, I'm just going to tunnel outside to a minute and collect some valuables. Because the world down here is basically made of valuables. Like this diamond sitting next to an even more valuable purple diamond, which in turn was right above the red horrorite. I'm going to be super brave here and quit while I'm ahead with 36 items in the backpack. Because believe me, I would absolutely love to be crushed by a rock right now. And what is this one worth? Look at all those red gems at the top. One million because the horror rate was worth 70,000. I think they're... Well, I don't know how much they are each. Probably a lot. Maybe 70,000 each? I watched that back because it was curious. And yeah, horror rate is worth 70,000 each. So we need lots of that. And we probably also need a million dollar light. That way we can see even more crap. Then we just hop our way back down and see what kind of stuff we can dig up. Look at the size of that light. My favorite part is always going down the elevator with a new light to see all the stuff I missed along the way that was just out of reach. But at least now I'm so deep that I don't even care about a lot of this stuff. I want the stuff that's worth 70,000 each. Just look at this. There's a diamond right there, the purple thing there. Who knows what else? It was just out of reach of my lights. Horror light does sound like a kind of material I would make all sorts of things out of. If I could just find spots like this all the way down along the elevator, I would be very rich by the time I made it another 100 floors. That also looks like new ore, but I've also been staring at this green for a long time now, so it might be the same ore, and I'm just, you know, going a little bit crazy. Oh, he said woohoo, and if I've learned anything from The Sims, it's that woohoo means good things. I bet this stuff is worth $100,000 each, and I really like all of the things that are worth $100,000 each. Watch this pro strat. I'm gonna leave this and then go up to the surface. It'll probably work its way down about 10 feet, but at least I don't need to babysit it. Anyone want to guess how much all that stuff is worth? That's a pretty big pile. 1.5 million all by itself because Mythalite is worth $110,000 each. So that brings us back up to $1.6 million currently. Right now, I think I just want to save for the bigger light for 3 million. That won't even take that long to get. Once I have that, it'll be even easier and quicker to make money. My elevator went down a massive... Five floors at best? I know it had good intentions, it just failed horribly. I don't want all these diamonds, I want the more valuable stuff. I'm starting to think this stuff or better. Anything less valuable might not be worth the time. But when the diamonds make it so easy, it's hard not to mine them. Officially, this is the new record for most valuable spot. There's an easy 200000 probably close to $300,000 right here. And it just keeps getting better and better. Pretty soon, I'll be able to fund all of my stupid ideas. Okay, I feel like they're just giving it away at this point, And I'm not complaining. I'm actually gonna have to upgrade my backpack soon. And that's saying something because this used to be hard to fill with anything even halfway valuable. And we clearly crossed a threshold because the dirt is harder than ever to break. That is is so painfully slow. I've hit a very dangerous spot, so for now I'm gonna go cash in what I have to hopefully bring a bigger light down. Also wouldn't say no to another portal. This should be a lot of money. Almost 2 million. The cobalt by itself is worth 1.5 million and I don't even know what the cobalt is. Like I don't even remember mining anything new. So one 3 million dollar light. There's a 10 million dollar lamp and I really like the fact that there is. With my last little bit of money and I mean 500,000 I'm gonna buy a bigger drill tank and then fill it up. This light will pay for itself in no time because look at that it's lighting up almost the entire screen at this point. This will make it even easier and quicker to earn that money. I feel like a light this big is also going to be a very big distraction for me because I'm going to be chasing things everywhere now. I'm finally going to get my elevator moving but look at all the valuables in the area. Money is stupidly easy at this point. Who designed that elevator? Me? You so much as look at that thing and you're dead. I only lost a million dollars worth of stuff so let's do it all again. At least I won't have to work that hard to get my money back. Definitely did not mean to put an elevator here so that's going to put an interesting spin on things but this actually kind of works in my favor. I should have done side-by-side -side elevators this whole time. Uh, did you happen to notice that sinkhole beside the elevator? Because I didn't. Well, this is kind of amusing. Side-by-side -side elevators. Not super cost-effective, but also there's another portal, so that's huge. Because making my way down here takes a long time, and so does breaking all of the dirt. And that is what I can only assume is something incredibly valuable. Toxium. Well, since we have the portal right here, let's go find out what that's worth. Then buy more upgrades to mine stuff faster, deeper, more upgrades, more everything. So it looks like it's gonna be worth 200,000 each. 200,000 for every one of those. So let's buy the bigger bag for 700,000, then fill that all the way up with all the treasures of the deep. And since we have all this money, I'm just gonna put up elevators like everywhere. Like we'll just throw one over there. That only costs $10,000, so I might as well. And I've gone back to the 
drill just because it's a little faster, but it is also pretty loud, which is very annoying. There's the second super valuable rock. And look at that, two in a row. That's worth $400,000 all by itself. Make that 600000 if you include the one up there. Oh, 800000 My stupid drill ran out of stupid gas, but I did find another one of these, so life is good again. I think I'm going to go sell while I'm ahead and bring another elevator down anyways. Pretty sure these 30 items are going to be incredibly valuable. So let's maybe try the titanium drill. There's a horror rate drill after that for 3.5 million. We'll get there eventually. And they only have 1 million dollars left over. Oh, I was going to buy some more elevators too. Because... Here's my brilliant strategy. We're going to put a lift on either side. That way I can basically always have a clear route down. They'll do most of the work. All I got to do is clear out the paths of one or two of them here and there. Or they're all going to get stuck after two seconds and make me look stupid. Well, at least now all three elevators are moving and they're all making pretty good progress. I already forgot that I bought a new drill and it seems to be pretty quick. I'm a little scared to go crazy with it though because when things happen quick in this game, I die. Like every time. This triple elevator system works great. It actually gives me a lot more freedom to move around very quickly. And we're officially below floor 1000. 49 high value items becomes just about 4 million dollars. That was a fun big mountain of stuff. So I'm gonna buy a few more lifts and probably also the better drill for 3.5 million. And of course the bigger gas tank so we can use it for longer. For some reason it doesn't let me place lifts in between the other two anymore so I'm just gonna put them off to the side and they'll make their way down eventually. I did not mean to place that one there so we're gonna have no shortage of lifts to choose from what i wanted to do was try this new drill which is much faster yeah this is gonna be a money maker until i crush myself with a rock yeah this drill is fast but it's also very dangerous to use because you carry a lot of momentum everywhere every time i find a pocket like this i just can't help but laugh because i know i'm gonna mine this and then crush myself with a rock 10 seconds later and i found a new purple thing I assume this one's more valuable than the last one. I'm thinking maybe 500,000? And my drill ran out of fuel, so I'm back to doing it the manual way. Even this is making me a stupid amount of money. This will most definitely be the most expensive load I've ever sold yet. Look how big it is. Five and a half million. 250,000 just for one of those things. The only thing I'm gonna buy is a bigger drill tank, because we can get our use out of it now. Look at this spot. Think of how much value is right here. We're gonna get our super drill in no time. And look at all those diamonds. The best part is we're not gonna pick up one of them. And that is honestly the best thing I possibly could have found at this point. There's a portal all the way down here for 1200. And look how much of even this stuff we're finding now. I can't remember what it's called, but I know it's worth a fortune. Royal light. Well, you wanna see a lot of money? Here you go. Look at that. It's almost off the screen. 7,370,000, which puts us at 11,500,000. So let's get the even faster drill at this point, because obviously. And I'm also going to buy the better grab hook. That only costed me a cool million. And I know my lifts uh, seemed like a good idea, but I think I hit my limit because it's not really letting me put them anymore. But that's probably okay. The new drill makes us move very quickly. I can definitely maneuver pretty easily now and do it pretty quickly. So we'll just do this for a little bit, collecting all the valuables. I forgot to see if there is still a better drill. I wonder if there is. This one is fast, but we could always go faster. Well, look at this beautiful little cluster. And we've officially crossed floor 1300. At this point, my bag is basically full of this stuff. Royal light, whatever it's called, we've got a lot of it. But good news, we found something more valuable still. Infernalite. I can't even imagine how valuable that is. Well, I was kind of hoping I could find another portal so I didn't have to go all the way back up, but I might be out of luck. So I'm going to dig down to 1400, which is this layer, and just go side to side. Oh, my bag is full to hopefully find a portal. But you can definitely see the value down here. It's all the most valuable stuff that I've found so far. And there's a lot of it. And my drill also ran out of gas. Because I'm as deep as possible. So I'm manually going to dig my way across. But I'm not really sure there's much point. Given that it's only floor 1400. You know what? I'm just going to walk back to the surface. My grab hook slipped or something. And I fell and died. I had 70 extraordinarily valuable things in my bag and my grab hook slip. I'm not gonna lie to you, that one kind of hurts. But on the bright side, we can fill it with even more valuable stuff now. I've just got to find my way back there without dying along the way. Because I don't know how far I can drop. That's probably pushing it right there. Well, at least I managed to make it back here. And you know what? I feel like I can make my money back pretty quick. Okay, clearly we're at the point where things are just for fun now. Because I can just endlessly mine this stuff. There's so much of it that I have too much of it, frankly. I'm going to fill up my bag before I make it anywhere near a portal. I think I found the bottom. Just got to find a way to get over to whatever that thing is. Well, maybe collecting a few valuables along the way. I did manage to find a portal here of all places at like 1400. 30 
But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take that and go to the surface and cash in before we get into that thing. Even the portal is surrounded by good stuff. Anyone want to take a guess as to the value of this? Do it now. <laughs> so many gems. 25 million. And that's not even with the biggest bag. But we're going to spend 10 million on probably the biggest light. And 3 million on a bigger bag. And that's the biggest bag and light. Plus also a bigger drill tank. Plus the better grappling hook. And that's all the most expensive items we can buy. I do like this light. We can see just a little bit more with it. Now how do you suppose we get into this? thing if we even can oh we gotta drill around it this better be worth the effort it took a long time and a lot of money to get down here come on big upgrade collect diamond one single enormous diamond if i'd known this i wouldn't have sold all my crap congratulations you found the largest diamond ever discovered what would you like to do so we either start a new mine or maybe later well since i'm already filthy rich and hit the bottom with all the upgrades I think I'm gonna... Good news, I'm once again addicted to drilling for oil. So today we're gonna make a fortune, starting with one dowser over here and one on that side too, because the other one's going to get lonely. Eventually they will hopefully find something. I did already upgrade them so they have a little extra depth. Since he's already found something, we're gonna do a little scan here to see exactly what it is we're working with. That's a decent pocket. And how about this idiot? Whoops, didn't mean to click. That one looks bigger. So one little oil rig digging just into the oil. Then we're going to build a little silo for storage, probably right here. Then we're going to buy maybe four horses just to get the ball rolling so they can fill up this silo nice and quick. And if they don't, I'll bury them in the ground and mine them in a million years. And I'm going to wait for these place fluctuations to come up. This one's almost at a dollar already, so we're going to sell a little bit of oil over there. Just so we can have some extra money to get some more pipe in the ground to get some more oil again. Definitely made a little bit of money so far. We've made $1,500. Might get a few more rounds in over a dollar. Looks like we will. About $2,000 worth. So let's set up another little oil rig here. Also because there's gas nearby. Then we're going to upgrade the size of this pipe and the size of the silo twice. And then I'm also going to tell my idiots to stop uh, trying to take oil over there. Then we're going to send down a mole and a few more dowsers. Because we need all the oil we can find. This guy in the middle did just find something somewhere here. I'm assuming it's deeper down but I've been wrong once. There it is. There's also some magma to the left and to the right, so I've probably got to watch out for that, but we're going to go ahead and tap into this one. So far, so good. I think the strategy is really just figuring out how much oil is there, because then you know how much you can spend and how long you're going to need to find it all. Uh, we're going to have to open up one of these because my silo is getting full, and I need just a little money to buy a new one. So that's going there. Price of oil is coming up over a dollar. Once it hits a dollar, we're going to send everything over there. That's good enough for me right now. Everyone go over there. We're going to buy another horse or two also. So everyone's going to take all the oil over there. We're just going to buy lots of horses to make sure that happens. We're going to do a little scan somewhere down here also to figure out where exactly this guy's oil pocket is hiding. There it is. That's also actually a pretty big one. Didn't expect it to be this much oil. Luckily for me, I know how to upgrade all the pipes. Aside from this, I don't know if there's any more oil out there anywhere. Gonna buy another wagon for now though. Okay, this guy found oil. Oh, it's right there actually. We could see that before. I was just stupid so didn't notice. Yeah, that's a pretty big pocket in itself. And in fact, I think there's another one just kind of above that. Well, there's gas there. I don't think they find gas though. I think he's found some oil. That's probably the edge of it right there. Really should just probably pay more attention to what's happening. But the price of oil has dropped back down again. Lucky there are a few gas pockets I can use to manipulate it later. For now, we're just going to store a bunch of oil. I'm going to buy a third uh, thing if I can right there. Then I'm also going to see if I can... Uh, we're going to make a little joint right there so I can close this valve here. And then it's going to go here, then into there. Okay, this one's on its way to connecting. I've closed it at both ends. Uh, it's already at a dollar too. So as soon as it gets there, I'm going to unleash it. And we're going to take all the oil over to left ink while also upgrading this one. We need this oil out of the ground. It's only July. So we're going to open up this. Everyone's bringing their oil over there. Rapid speed. And I'm going to buy a bunch more horses just to move a bunch of this oil. $1.30, $1.40. We'll make some money on this. Timed the horses pretty well so far. They're not going to move a ton of oil very quickly. But they will move oil. Uh, the gas already ran out at $1.85 was its peak. We can do the same on the left side. We just need to connect a dud there and then to there and then up to there. That's probably... Whoops, didn't mean to leave that open. Also, we're producing oil too quickly. The horses can't move enough right now because they're not upgraded enough. So they're having trouble moving at all. But we're also still getting $1.17 on the left side. So we're still making pretty good money for every barrel. We just need to find a way to get it out of the ground much quicker. I wonder if I'm actually allowed to do that. I don't see why not. I can just put another uh, one of these in like that to help pull some of that oil out in a hurry. The price finally just went back below a dollar. I just heard the oil about to overflow. So we're going to buy another horse. This we're going to close for now. We're just going to store it for a second. 
It is August, but we are going to have to start unloading this oil soon because the horses can't carry much. The price on the right is going up, so let's help it get there. And then we're going to put all the horses in the world onto the right side to hopefully make lots of money. I do need money because I'm going to keep this and roll this forward into more profit and upgrades and stuff. So every horse from now on is probably just going to go to whatever side is paying more. We're not moving it fast enough to be able to be picky about price. I also have maximum herd size reached. I don't know how many horses I have, but it's the max. Wow, that actually hit 200... 220 per barrel which is great money we're still getting over two dollars a barrel so that's easy money kind of makes me wonder if there's any more gas anywhere down here so let's put a few moles if there's gas on this side that would be great there's some in the middle that i can't really use okay i just uh did another little scan there's definitely some gas there which is great but i also saw this which is also just a little bit of oil. We'll see if we can tap into that. The price on the right is still way high, so we're going to take a look to see exactly what's going on in this area and figure out if we can get to that, which I'm pretty sure we can if we just go straight like that. Then we're going to close that for a second, but this price is going to go way up. In saying that, I didn't realize we'd sold so much of our oil already. Didn't realize we could even do it that quickly. So they're going to store it for just a second uh, until we let this go, and then they're going to take it over here. Everyone get over there, unleash the pipe. That's going to push your price up for quite a while. Actually, you know what? Hold off till the price goes up. I mean, with a gas pocket this big, we might as well let that run for a sec before we put any more of a val valuable oil into it. Okay, the gas pocket's about half used up. Everyone get over there real quick. But we should be getting like $2 per barrel or more on all of this oil. So that's going to be tons of money for me which is going to turn into more upgrades, which means tons more money. Basically, I'll probably just run out the rest of the year going like this. There's $2.50, $2.20. Yeah, we sold most of our over $2, which is pretty good. Even $1.50 is lots. I don't think I'm going to get all the oil out of the ground, but that's because I just can't get my pipes big enough, and I don't think I can connect to the lava right now to use it. I will upgrade this one final pipe to hopefully get the last of the oil out of the ground, but I have one month left. Okay, I think we have the last of the oil coming out of the ground now with 10 days to spare. And that's the last of it, at least that we found. There were a few more pockets down there, but they were small, so I'm glad I didn't really chase them. Profit was $40,000. We spent $13,000. We averaged $1.57 per barrel on the right side, $1.43 overall, which has me in second place, just slightly behind my competitor. Now, since I've got $127 still to spend, we're going to be able to increase the size of our wagons once, uh, maybe twice, then also maybe a few more and a few more. Then we're going to spend $15,000 being able to widen our pipes one more time. Then also I think I want this for heat resistance so we can go straight through magma. Now we need to pick our next piece of land and usually we pick next to areas that already had a lot of oil in them. So I'm maybe going to take this one. We're probably going to have to bid for it so that's why I left a little bit of money though everyone's pretty happy with their pieces. The upgrades I just bought should make things a little bit easier again. Do you want cash? Sell exclusively to left or right to a C? No I do not want that. I'll just slowly make money the good old fashioned way. I could get an easy $900 by selling exclusively but the price overall would not be worth it. It. I hate how addictive this is. So if you idiots, thank you, wanted to find some oil at some point, I wouldn't say no. We're going to do a little bit of a scan right there. Not a very big pocket. Let's see what idiot number two has for us. We'll do a little bit of a bigger one. Well, that's a bigger pocket next to a bigger pocket. And we get a nice little short pipe to start, so we'll go to there. Then we buy a couple horses, which might be able to go straight to the left right away, depending on that price. And I think we're going to put silos on the left side, because I think there's going to be more room. Then while we're waiting, let's throw a mole out over here. They randomly go around, but they will occasionally find me stuff I wouldn't find otherwise. And since we are getting over a dollar on the left, let's get a few uh, wagons of oil over there real quick. Even one for 90 cents we'll take. Then while we're waiting, and we got a very short haul, let's upgrade the size of this pipe, because this is going to be a major pipe pretty soon. We're going to upgrade that twice and it's going to puke oil out. Now look at it go. You can watch that oil level drop in real time. We're actually getting so much oil that we're getting overloaded even on this short little haul. Horace, hello. That was actually a really expensive little maneuver we just did. Guys, can you go quicker? We're going to start losing a lot of money if we can't keep up with the oil that's getting spilled. Uh-oh. We're losing lots of money. Okay, when are you going to have to go start selling so I can buy another idiot? Guys, we're about to lose more money because they cannot unload their oil fast enough. I think I'll be able to buy a new one in time. Maybe. Hopefully. It's actually so expensive to spill that much oil. I hate that so much. This guy's just sitting here being like, hey, I found oil by the way. Yep, yeah, just leave a flag or something. I know where it is. Thank you, sir. I can even see it. Ooh, but look at those left side prices coming up over a dollar. Let's get that oil over there. Oh, this pocket already ran out. I had no idea. But we're going to make some money there. So we're going to extend this pipe for sure. And then we're going to upgrade the wagon size right away. Then they're going to take the rest of that oil over there for about a dollar, a little less. Then they're going back to work on the silos. So I'm just going to upgrade those a few more times. Then I think it's probably cheaper to buy this and do this than it is to drill all the way over to it. I'm also a little worried to spend any more money right now because I'm not sure 
if there's going to be any more oil in the ground. I might literally be these three pockets, though there is something over here. And this pains me a little bit, but I'm going to sell some oil for about 50 cents a barrel because I want to upgrade some pipes. And then we're going to send out another dowser to hopefully find a little more oil. I can see what's something here and there's also something down there. Okay, let's see if we can see both of these at once. Nope. We're not really going to get that luxury. What is that? That's a huge gas pocket. And I'm pretty sure... No, the dowser's still here. He's still looking for oil, but that doesn't mean he's going to find any. We're starting to get a pretty good price on the left side again. He did find some oil over here, which might be what that pocket is. Okay, everyone go to the left. No, don't go to the left. Let's scan and make a little plan. Okay, that's a very small pocket. I don't think that's the one he's found, though, because he's not on top of it. But now we're literally not pumping oil, so we're just going to sell everything we can right now to the right side because it's almost a dollar per barrel and we'll take what we can get. Then I think I need to send a few moles loose just so they can do a little exploring because I need to see if there's other oil somewhere out there. We're going to spend like $500 on moles. And then I also need to figure out how to um, get over there and then up with the gas. Not that we have a lot of oil left, but we do have enough actually we can manipulate the price. So we sell a little bit more. And then we've got to move on to strategies. So let's do an annoying expensive scan here. That's a lot of rock. And then we're going to scan the other side to hopefully find less. Do we have anything there? Well, we could make it up to there if we really wanted to. And there's something right there, which might be oil. Is there any gap here? Not really. So basically, I'm going to go like that. Uh, actually, that was kind of stupid, but we can go like that. Okay, we can't go through rocks right now. I forgot already. Can we go between the rocks? That's probably not going to work very well. That might work. Okay, say I want to go like that. Will you let me? Nope, that was just a big waste. Oh, there's way more oil down here, though. I didn't see that. We're going to need some of this. Okay, get the drill down there yesterday. Uh, while we're at it, let's take a look at some of this. I know we're spending a lot to do this, but there's so much gas there that I think we're going to try and work our way around everything. So let's spend a few of you to just start doing anything at all right now. It's already the end of July. Okay, then we're waiting. We're going to upgrade a few of these just so once the time comes, we're able to dump a whole bunch of oil wherever we need it to go. Got a little bit of a price boost on the left, so I'm going to send a few more wagons over there just for some money right now. I can set myself up pretty good. Then we're going to upgrade a whole bunch of different pipes that we also need to continue drilling over to here and then here and then hopefully up without hitting magma. This is a really stupid design but this might actually work depending on what's in the ground over there. If I had magma right there. Oh we can go through magma I forgot. We're also getting a dollar. Well let's hold off because we're gonna have a lot of oil we'll be able to get for a good price once we let all that gas go. So let's send one two wagons over just for a bit of easy money. Then everyone wait. It's already the end of October so I'm upgrading this pipe hopefully like right now. So these are all max so we're putting a ton of oil through here. Let's buy one more horse. And then we're at a dollar here on the left, so let's open the gas up. And that's going to flow for a long time and get us a big price. We're almost overflowing because they're pumping so much oil to the surface, and that's absolutely a good problem to have. So let's uh, bring one wagon over for now to get a little money in case we need to make any changes abruptly. We still got tons of gas left, so the price on the left is going to get ridiculous. So let's just hold off on everything for a sec. In fact, I'm going to do something strange and go like this. I hope this is worth it. I just really want all this oil out of the ground, especially for the prices we're about to get. Okay, we can start getting some of this oil because we're at 2 70 per barrel. This is going to make up for our bad play early in this round. So let's buy a few more wagons to be able to haul this around. And we're also going to need to be able to reach into something here. That might work. Uh oh, that's very expensive. Stop doing that. What do you all do? Oh, we're out of uh, space. Okay, everyone start dumping your oil off then. I didn't realize our silos were full. We're going to get 324 per thing anyway, at least. So that's not the end of the world. It's December already, so everyone dump your oil off. We're going to buy as many horses as we can because we're going to have pretty big oil finds at the end. Everyone to the left, please. All the horses we can buy. Oh, we can get a better upgrade too. Everyone go. All the oil out. $3.50, $3.50. I got an achievement for that. Look at all that money we're making suddenly. There's $40,000. We're out of time. We still made $48,000 just because of the ridiculous price. We got an average of two seventy two dollars per barrel. That's definitely a record for me. That wasn't the most profit anyone made, but it was second place again. So next, I think we want to be able to maybe just get a drill so we can go through rocks if need be because the rocks are getting in the way. Uh, let's also increase the speed of the dowser. I want $20,000 left over to bid with. Should I have to bid again? I mean, there was good oil here. There's good oil here. I'm thinking maybe right here between these two, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to have to outbid this lady. That's fine. They can all fight for what's left. I hope this is good ground. Okay, next I'm going to have moles and cover three more cells each because they were actually hugely helpful last time. I have $8,000, so I need to make money. Uh, So idiots, get out there and do your job. Mole, I'm just going to throw a mole dead center and he's going to wander randomly to wherever he wants to go. Uh, I'm going to do the more central one. We're going to scan over a mole. Well, we hit several pockets, so that's perfectly fine by me. You get into the oil and then 
uh, go to the left straight away because that's really good money. Definitely get over there. I'm even going to upgrade that pipeline since we're getting $1.40 out of the blue. Both sides are very good right now. Everyone over there, go. Quick as you can. Even the right side is pretty good value still. So uh, we're going to sell this one more. Then I'm going to spend a bit of money on a scan to see what exactly is going on over here. That's a pretty good pocket. Definitely forgot to buy a silo, so that's not great. Horse, please take care of that. That's what we call a tire mistake. And unfortunately, we're running out of oil, so we're going to have to sell a little bit for a little price so we can tap into this pocket. This is a little bit awkward timing because we're running out of oil. And we don't really have a lot of money to do any more exploring. They were about to hit a dollar something on the right. So let's just send everyone this way for a sec. We'll even bring another horse on for this job. This will give us the money we need to keep on drilling and exploring and stuff. We'll hire a few more dowsers, put a few more moles out, the usual stuff. So let's throw another dowser there, another dowser there. We're going to throw an oil rig here. Here. And then we're going to throw another silo here while sending everyone to the left because we're over a dollar. We're going to upgrade that so we have lots of storage. Then I'm going to buy one more horse just to make sure we found more oil somewhere here. So let's send out a little big scan. And another deep scan because he might have found a big pocket down below. That's a pretty good one. We'll tap into, whoops, tap into that right away. Dollar, okay, we're going to upgrade the size of the horses and we're going to upgrade how much oil they can move. That way when they have oil, they... Put it right to where they want to go for those prices. That's important. And then prices are back below a dollar, but we got $3,000 to work with upgrades. So I'm going to send another three or four moles out over here because I'm going to do a big scan over here anyway to find out what oil this idiot found. Pretty sure it's just this pocket, but I want to take a look down here because as I was hoping, there is some gas. There's also maybe a pocket here. And while we're at it, there's something here. Spending a lot of money on these things. That's definitely some good gas. I'm going to try something uh strange. I kind of don't like the way I just did that. Whoops. That's also why because I didn't want to do that. So that's going to go to there and then there. Then we're actually going to close it here, not here. Uh, yeah, okay, that did work. The price on the left is one cent. I've also never seen that before. So we're going to upgrade this. Um, we are going to need a little bit of money. So let's have two of those open. There's oil there we need also. But for this gas, I'm going to do this really weird, stupid plan where I'm going to go this way and then I'm going to go through the oil over to that one maybe. But I also need to figure out what's going on with whatever this is. Okay, that's also gas. Great. This is going to be a really, really stupid looking pipe. Uh, while we're at it, I think this one's going to connect to there for $350. You've got to try and make it to there. Okay, you're going to make it any way you can right now then, like there. Then you go down, then you go up, then you go down, then you go up, and that'll all make sense later. And I managed to keep hitting rocks everywhere I go. I did buy a rock drill, didn't I? Yeah, I should have bought that a while ago. It's only $750 to go through rocks. Would have saved me a lot of money had I remembered I had that. The price on the left is pretty high right now, so let's upgrade a few pipes while we're waiting. I uh, didn't mean to do that already. We want to save that gas for as long as we can, but I do also want to upgrade all of these pipes, so we're sure to get all this oil out. Didn't realize we'd been sending so much oil to the left this entire time, so we're definitely going to have to store every last bit we can find right now. In fact, I'm going to bring another dowser in case there's more oil somewhere. Also, a few more moles. The moles just managed to find a lot that I never can. Okay, the dowser did actually find something, which is pretty uh, good news. That's a nice pocket of oil. We're definitely going to tie into that one. Uh, they both apparently found something, so I'm not sure what the other pocket of oil is that he's referring to. So let's take a quick look. We're going to upgrade that. Oh, I think I see it. It's like right there. Uh, we're not going to do that there. We're going to use this one to get that. Okay, then we just run it out just a little more. But I think we're at about that time where we're going to open up this valve because I want to be sure we can get all of that oil out. Now just pay attention to the gas levels. Once they start running low, low-ish, we start sending all the horses over. We can kind of manipulate them actually and get them like halfway there before we say, wait, hold on, don't do that. I'm also going to buy a few more horses because we need to collect a lot of oil. More horses. Am I at max? I think I'm at max amount of horses. Okay, we might spill a little bit of oil here, but we'll hopefully make more than we lose by doing it this way. No, oh, I can buy more horses. Great. We didn't need to spill that oil. We got almost $3 a barrel on the left, so that was pretty good. Still got lots of oil left. Uh, like a lot of it. Didn't realize how much we had in the ground. I think I keep forgetting to put all my new horses in one direction or the other because I feel like we could have dumped that oil off a lot sooner. Because now, like, we take it away in no time. But I think we might have actually got it all. Yeah, we got a thousand dollars for getting all the oil, which isn't worth it. Three thousand dollars in spillage. Uh, we made forty grand profit, which is actually third place. Next, I'm gonna buy conductivity. Uh, that way, if I put my pipe into magma, it makes things go quicker. Maybe faster drilling would be good. So I've been doing pretty well with the land I've had so far. Uh, I might take one up here because it's beside a forty-seven and forty-five. I think that's the best bet. Down here is probably also fine but they're fighting over that. They can have that. So here we go again. Yeah, I know all about spillage, my friend. I've already spilled basically all the oil in the universe. You go there. 
you go there and a mole somewhere in the middle. They often both find something at almost the same time, which is a little bit suspicious. That's a pretty good pocket to start with. I like the size of that. Now we're going to build a silo right away this time and a couple horses to make sure that we have something to do with it all. So there's a pocket oil here, probably oil here, but that's about it so far. And because it's a nice short little pipe, we're going to upgrade that right away. Let's get this whole pocket find out right away. Price on the right is climbing up a little bit, so let's send a few of our horses over there for some quick easy money because $60 isn't enough for an emergency. Uh, in fact, even now, we're going to be close to overfilling oil. We are back over a dollar, so I'm just going to put all my horses to the right. Now it's going to make me money. Almost overflowed there. Horse, get over there. I think we'll be okay. Yep, they got that. And look at that money roll in already. Put one more horse there. Price is dropping, so we're probably going to go back to using silos. Then we're going to upgrade that one more time to make sure we're getting that oil out. Then we're going to let some moles go again. We're going to put one there. A mole somewhere over here. A mole somewhere there. Let's put a mole, I don't know, here. I wish I could see this one better. I really hope that isn't gas. I just kind of blindly drilled into it, so that better be oil. And it's oil. There's also a pocket down here. The price on the left is going up, so let's send a few horses that way. That's definitely going to make us some money. Let's put all the oil we can over there right now while putting more horses on the job because they're slacking off again. Everyone over there. All the horses we got, we're going to upgrade them also so they can actually carry some oil around. Seriously, anyone going to grab that oil? And then I'm going to upgrade them right now because we can make $1.23 per barrel and we're going to. There's a dollar, dollar, dollar. Yeah, we got six grand to work with now. So we can sit back and dream, which means I'm going to put another oil whatever right here. I'm going to upgrade this one. I actually want to scan this to see exactly how big it is because sometimes they're pretty deceptive. We can do a big scan because we have big money. We have magma too, so we'll maybe tie into that because that boosts our productivity. Also, that's going to go down there. We're going to do the drill through rock just because I'm going to be lazy and assume there's rock in the way. Now, this one's going to move some oil in a big hurry. And this one we might also tie into the oil, uh, into the magma because there's a lot of oil here. Then we're going to throw out a few more dowsers to see what the rest of the oil is hiding on us. Also, since we have that money, let's send some moles out. Okay, apparently there's oil in the bottom, like way off to the left and way off to the right. So let's do a big scan over here. That's a little pocket over there that I'm not worried about. It's only $1,000 if we get all the oil anyway, so why would we fight that hard for it? You go there and then there, and then also a fork into the magma. Then I'm going to... Oh, actually, the price on the right is pretty high right now. We should take advantage of that a little bit. I don't know if we're going to have the gas here to get any good upgrades anyway. So we'll send that over there for $1.15 for now. Uh, we're also going to put a horse wherever it's about to overflow. Then I think we could probably pull up a little bit more oil, but for now we're getting pretty good prices, so let's just take advantage. We're also going to have a lot of oil in the ground still. Prices have dropped, but looking at the amount in the ground, let's go like that, and we need to try and find like a big pocket of gas if it exists. Since I have $10,000 already to burn... Uh, we also need to upgrade some of these pipes. We did find a little bit of gas. It would be great if there's a big pocket here. There's not necessarily one of those, but we have a gold nugget that the mole can find. Well, here's how this will work. There'll be a valve there that'll tie into that, that'll tie into that, that'll tie into that, and that's going to be closed. Didn't the mole grab that? Did they not grab those? I guess what we can do then is... Or is he grabbing it now? Whoops. Didn't mean to open that one. Stop. Okay, now I just hope I can get all this massive deposit out. We're actually going to do a scan at the bottom of that because I want to see what's down here. I know I'm spending a lot of money on this, but... I need to know exactly what it is I'm dealing with. Oh, that's actually a little bit smaller than I thought. But look at those nice big full silos. Uh, might actually need another one if I can fit it. I'm going to do it just preemptively. They're not that expensive. Because that's just a lot of oil to be moving. We're pumping a ton out of the ground. My like super upgraded horses can't even really keep up. So can we talk about this gold nugget the moles can't seem to be able to grab? I don't know how to get that. Okay, we're kind of running out of options here because uh, the silos are about full. But the price is going up, so... Let's go ahead and vent the gas over to it. Mm, that's going to put the price up not super high, but high enough that we're definitely going to make some money still. So pretty soon we'll let all the horses start going that way. Going to throw another one in because already that's starting to happen. Okay, everyone go and load your oil. We're going to put a horse on that right away. Then we're going to take advantage of dollar, $2 prices. Great. $2.50. Didn't think we'd get that high. Okay, we got a lot of them for over $2.00. So that's perfectly fine. There's a whole bunch of $1.50, still over a dollar. Should we wait for a price fluctuation? Will we get a price fluctuation? The price on the left is moving quite a bit. Um, we're also at $41,000 already. So the right stall, the left side's going up. We've only got really two months left, so let's get the horses moving in that direction at least. I don't like 88 cents. Yeah, it's already dropping again. It's the end of November, but we could dump this out in probably less than a month. I just kind of need prices. But to be fair, this might be as good as it gets. So everyone just go dump your oil. I don't care right now. We're already rich. $41,000 so far. 
that's perfectly fine. There's 47, this will be over 50 easy enough. But this one worked out nicely because we're sitting here waiting at the end without stress. Okay, there were a few gas pockets deep down, but that's fine. We made pretty good money. $49,000 profit. And that means I was in the lead for the first time ever. I also want to make a super silo for 35 grand because we clearly need storage on some of these richer levels. So that was definitely a good choice on my part because I got a 47, the rest of them had way less. I still made pretty good money considering, but I want this piece. We're gonna have to fight for it for sure. And I will, because I know there's money to be made here. Perfect. What did I pay for that? I'm the old woman, $4,000. I've got a good feeling about this. Idiot's down. We're gonna launch two moles this time. Uh, probably something like that. Idiot one found something. We'll do a nice good size scan. Yeah, I could work with that. There's also a gold nugget there. So that's gonna tie into that right away. And then we're gonna put up the storage. And also a couple of horses. Wow, they're literally standing on top of each other. They're so smart. Okay, you guys go make some money on that right away. $1.30. I will take advantage of that all day long. And while they're waiting to fill, let's uh, upgrade the pipe so we can push a little bit oil out for dollar plus prices. Then we'll upgrade that one more time. Then we definitely want to make sure we're not going to run out of room. So we're going to link those together later. 86 cents on the right side isn't bad. So we're going to take maybe a little bit of oil over there so we can continue our exploration. Because we can put down another dowser or two. Idiot on the left found something already. And they're once again jumping up and down. There must be another deposit down below. Low. So let's do a little scan to see what we're working with. We're getting a pretty good price on the left. That would be it there. So everyone take your oil to the left for a second. That means all of you stupids. Speaking of stupid, I'm not currently mining any oil, which is kind of the whole point of this adventure. There we go. Now we're back to making money. I'm just going to let them run this out for a dollar plus prices. $1,500 to work with. So let's send a few more moles down in random places. They'll start to paint me a picture of what's going on down below. I'm a little concerned about the lack of black spots we're finding down there. Shouldn't there be oil here somewhere? There's something down here, which is hopefully a monster deposit. I'm going to try and hit both of these because I think there's two. Well, there's one big one. Price on the right side is about a dollar. I want just a little bit more money for exploration. We're going to get drilled through rock and then we're going to hit this pocket also. Oh, look at the left price also. Everyone get in on that. I'm actually impressed with the lack of oil we seem to have on this area but i also need to find out the deposit that this guy keeps signaling okay that's a pretty good size we could probably work with this now in fact we're going to do something strange and go like that then this one's going to connect to say here and then here and then here and then up to there eventually price on the right is going up so we're definitely going to send some horses over there and buy some more before that overflows and because that's a pretty long journey let's upgrade the wagons as soon as we can gonna upgrade the horses one more time so they can just bolt straight over to $1.30 because we're gonna make a lot of money on those kind of prices so we use that money to connect up to there we'll close that we're gonna send maybe a few more dowsers out though it's pretty late in the season so we're gonna upgrade all the pipes we'll also maybe spending a little bit of money tying that into the magma just because I think that's going to push more oil out of the ground, which obviously means more money for us. Oh, he did actually find some over there too. How fitting. But I don't know how much it is over here. It's probably not huge. Otherwise, we'd be seeing it already somewhere because they tend to stand out because they're big black spots. Uh, probably that one. Maybe also this one. Okay, also need to remember that it's getting towards the end of the year. So we're going to wait for price to come up a little bit. And then we're going to also inflate it. We're going to start that now so we don't miss out. Prices is already coming up. Actually, you guys hold on. You can move oil pretty quick when I want you to. The gas is still going. Uh, do we need... Oh, we do need more horses. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Yep, go take the oil now. Stop spilling, please. That's good enough for me. We're going to get like $2 per average on this. Horses go quicker. This one's kind of tricky because there's just not a lot of oil, so we don't need a ton of horses, but there's lots of $2 plus barrels. Uh, we're still at $1.50 for a lot of that, $1.20. Dollar ten, so yeah, we made pretty good money considering there wasn't a ton of oil here, anyways. But our profits were twenty-two thousand compared to thirteen thousand spent. I was basing every spending on the fact that I thought there's more oil. That person had good ground. Next time we'll get the big stuff. Today we're gonna make the biggest worm you've ever seen ever. And to do that, we just need to put a whole bunch of things in our mouth, like a herd of dogs and some people. The more we eat, the more health we recover, and the more fun we have. And we get a nice big combo like that, we get, I think, double the score. We'll get some nice upgrades along the way, because uh, this worm is pretty big, but we could do better. I still have to kind of aim it to eat people. I want to just cruise around and consume the world just automatically. Size has been increased, which is good and all, we need more. So we have a choice. We're going to take 20% speed over 20% health because I never die anyway. And I'm going to use that extra speed that we now have to help me not get shot anymore. And also eat hang gliders. They thought they were safe in the air, but they're not. Uh, we also have the cow cavalry have come in to uh, try and disrupt us. We're going to go ahead and just eat them too. That's a nice big herd of policemen. We're going to eat them. There's some cows. Speed up. And Hummer. 
am starting to lose a little bit of health, so I should probably stop getting shot quite as much as I am. But there's a nice four piece combo, so we're back in shape. We will gonna eat you and the calc. Whoops, that was a really bad spot to jump. Okay, we can take out those two for now, then we'll finish off the Kel Cavalry on my own terms. But also by going like that. And then we're gonna jump right over the bomb and back to work. Also didn't mean to jump into all those bombs over there, but sometimes it just kind of happens. When you've had this much coffee, anything is possible, and we're bigger again. Actually, we are a lot bigger than where we started. It was hard for me to notice because I'm just having so much fun eating the neighborhood dogs. And that was before I started making videos today. One enemy remains, I think it's him. I wish the bombs would blow him up too, it's not fair that they're worm bombs, but also this isn't fair for him, so. Now we either get fat tissue for no hunger pains, or adrenaline makes you glow red, two times rampage speed. I don't really know what rampage speed is, but I really want to find out, so we're gonna cruise through. Hey, there's a rampage, I get it now, you just gotta eat lots of things. I think if we stay kind of near the surface here, we're just going to naturally eat everything. I assume we circled the globe at some point. Definitely starting to take some damage though, so can I eat some things to- There's my health back. I like rampage speed. We have idiots on jetpacks with guns, so we'll throw them off by going back to the left and then eating that guy. And <laughs> those two. Okay, there's one enemy remaining. Think I got him. So we either get inward spikes for more speed or outward spikes. Very pointy spikes that kill. Yes, please. Not that we needed any help killing stuff, but I won't say no to a little extra backup. Oh, rampage time. Okay, 13 combo is pretty good. That was definitely a record for me. There's an 11 combo. Uh, I don't know if the spikes are to blame or not, but I don't really care. I'm just having fun on my rampage. Okay, now we either get a small tail or a big tail. We'll take 20% speed. Oh, I was going to get that jet. Oh, we have robots trying to get us now. The robots are going to die too. We're gonna just cruise all of those. Once they have a rampage going, we're really just unstoppable, so I really can't complain. Whatever I did to this worm, I evolved it the right way. I really do want to get one of those jets, and I can definitely jump high enough to get it. It's just a matter of timing it because they show up very briefly. Yeah, once I get on this nice level little rampage, nothing really survives because I can just go like that, I'm done. Less bomb damage or bigger mouth, obviously. Giant teeth? That's just what the worm needed. I got the jet. I got two jets. I got a two jet combo. That's unheard of. Also getting a little hungry. Oh, we got the last guy. It was a paraglider. Ooh. We want badass wings for flying. So, okay, this is perfect. I can kind of just glide along here. I can't really fly. I guess I can, but I can kind of glide. So there's a 10 combo, 8 combo. This worm is just sort of a destroyer of worlds. I don't know if it's classified as a worm anymore, but I'm not like a biologist. I had an 18 combo because nothing can kill me because I'm a giant worm that can fly. I'm a worm dragon. Maybe a dragon worm sounds better. Things can't spawn in quick enough for me to be able to keep up. Let's eat some jets. Yeah, there we go. We need less bombs in the world. I'm on a peacekeeping mission. Uh, let's see if we can turn around and go the other way. It's so big, it, like, it can barely turn around, which is a good problem to have. There was a 17 combo, so we'll get lots of points, but there's not much challenge at this point. We're just endlessly destroying things. My size is still going up. I can still get bigger. Hold on. So while I might not get any big physical upgrades, I do physically get bigger and quicker so I can just cruise along like this, pretty much destroying the world in a constant combo of rampage and uh, death. And I'm pretty sure nothing can kill me because I do take damage but I eat things to replenish the health as fast as I get hurt. When I started I was just a little worm that would hide way down in the dirt, now I can barely fit in the dirt. I am the and you can see the upgrade counter at the bottom, we have to eat like 20 things to get an upgrade for speed or size. We do that in like a heartbeat because we're already really big and fast. Am I still getting bigger? It's getting hard to tell. Let me do the ground measurement. Yeah, I definitely take up like the entire size of the dirt, so I'm definitely still getting bigger, so... And I'm pretty sure at this point we're killing just everything on screen because nothing can fit past us, especially with our spikes. The occasional jet might get by, but they don't have long to live. I'm really just still not sure this is big enough. I think we can do better. Uh, our combo just got up to 40 something. I'm not sure if I hit record in time, but we had like a 46, 48 combo going. Which isn't surprising considering we just eat everything. Like even this one's up to 34, 37, 40, 51, 57. <laughs> it gets pretty big when we can't miss. Getting all the way up to almost 100. We broke 100. Well, I feel that this worm has succeeded where all worms before it have failed. So what time for a new worm? 
All right, this time we start with wings and we have more animated cows. Ooh, there's even underground lizards. I want people though, or chickens, but really mostly just people. 20 enemies remain. Oh, we can glide already. That's fun. Surprise, that man's got a pot on his head. You must die, sir. That's absolutely ridiculous. That doesn't fly in my world. Got that one, got that one. Size up. We're even bigger now. Take that, chicken. Really gotta keep an eye on that hunger meter. It's a very hungry little worm. It's the very hungry caterpillar who grew all the way up. Okay, give me that. Oh, I gotta eat one more idiot. Okay, got him. Do you want big and slow or small and quick? Longer worm, shorter worm. I want speed. That way I can fly gracefully through the air before incinerating people and taking the rainbow cats. There's a six combo. There's a four combo. Man, these people are really bad at dealing with worms. I think they've called in the military though. So give me the cat. I saw something up there. There's planes up there. I need to get up to the planes. You, take me to the planes. Not the cats. Oh, there's a good combo. Rampage. That's my favorite kind of page. Okay, oh, they're dropping bombs on me now. They're starting to get serious about this worm creature that's destroying the world. Ow, how very wise of them. I thought those were food, not bombs. Okay, there's two idiots remaining out there somewhere. I've got to eat soon. Don't hit the bombs. Okay, I'm going to eat some of this. Are you one of what I need to eat? There it is. Next, might get you killed, might poke out an eye, might get you killed sounds fun. I want more speed. If I'm too quick, nothing can stop me. And there is a nice big, wow, real big combo. 24, all thanks to my speed. Yeah, can we do better? We're just going to skim the surface, eating everything we can. We could probably make it up to the jets now. Should we try? Oh, we're so close. Can somebody give me a boost? I want to make it up to those jets. Maybe I need a rampage to get there. Can I have a rampage? We like already ate all of the enemies, so there's really not much left to kill. One enemy remains, whoops, and I've killed it. So now we have skin mutation so we can have no hunger pains or massive mouth during rampage only. Yeah, I want that one. Because not to sound overconfident, but I'm pretty good at rampages these days. Like we already got one. And <laughs> we're just going to continue to destroy absolutely everything. The big mouth really helps because I don't have to aim as much. There was a 17 man uh, homicide. Uh, oh, we got some jets finally. Uh, we finished that level alarmingly fast because my enormous mouth ate all the jets in a hurry. We're definitely going flame jets. All gas and no brakes, light yourself on fire, plus rampage speed. We don't need less mine damage because we kill everything before the mines really show up. See? There's a 20-something 20, 20 <laughs> rampage. So we just cruise along at about this level. There's a 50 rampage. 60, 70, 69. So I still haven't eaten any of the big jets. Metal heals you or bigger mouth. Let's try metal heals you because there's some big metal planes in the sky I need to eat still. It's actually really bothering me how I haven't been able to eat any. Now they have like uh, robots to attack me. Giant uh, mechs. But I feel like I still hold the advantage somehow. Just a hunch really but <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty unstoppable. Ooh these are both so fun. Mega vacuum or jump to new heights. Alright so now that I got my uh, power vacuum. New ability above ground only. So yeah whatever <laughs> I'm just going to go on a rampage. And make myself bigger. Bigger and quicker as we go. Where? Oh, we can already get way up there anyway. We don't need the extra jump height. Suspiciously. Oh, I got a plane finally. We took down a passenger jet. That's all I ever wanted. Aside from getting enormously big. Uh, is a worm. Or whatever this is classified as now. I don't know what to call this thing. We should probably stay just off the ground with there's less bombs, huh? Uh, I don't know how to use my vacuum move. I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably should have taken less bomb damage at some point, but at least the metal heals me because we're eating a lot of metal. High genocide diet. 170, 200 combo. Size and speed are both increasing. We definitely need more bow. I think this combo is probably going to hold for a while. As long as idiots keep spawning in, there's a 330 combo so far. The trick is to stay above the landmines. I think once we get to this size though, we are pretty well unstoppable because, well, we just hit everything as we go. We're like the size of buildings now. How big is too big? Does that exist? My mouth is so big that I can like pretty much eat every enemy on screen. There's not much left. Well, I'd say I've created another very successful worm. We'll let him live out the rest of his days with whatever he wants to do. We can jump right into space. So mission accomplished. Good work. Yesterday, we were blowing everything between us and the moon. Well, today, we're going deep. All the way to the bottom, if it'll let us, we're already six kilometers down. And our reward for digging unreasonably deep very quickly is just a bunch of coal. And just a little bit of copper. So I bet you can guess what we're gonna do with that. We sell it and buy more peasants. Because I assume they do have a purpose. If I click on the coal, it disintegrates. But if I click on them, nothing happens. 
Uh, wants me to hire someone already? Cost to hire $100. Okay, give me someone. You hired worker number two. The next one is $1,500, so they're going to get expensive quickly. Oh, it hires a whole row of workers. We're getting much more copper, which is much more valuable than coal. And since we're only 8 kilometers down and finding relative garbage, let's see about upgrading his drill. Uh, can we just skip, seeing as we have the money to buy at least a copper drill blueprint? All we need for that is 500 coal and 100 copper. Also, let's start with the cheaper one as soon as I have some money again because it'll quicker mine the stuff we need to make the further better one. I wonder how far down the bottom is. In fact, I hope there is no bottom. I want infinite depths. But also, let's buy the steam engine. Because all that's going to take is 940 coal. By the time we're there, I'll probably have enough for this one anyways. But I'm stupid, so let's just go for it. I discovered silver, and my drill got away. Silver should be extra valuable. So coal is worth one, poor coal, copper is two, silver is four. So if you idiots want to focus on that for a little bit, I would reward you with some breathing air. Actually, I probably won't. It's cheaper to let them die and hire new ones. Oh, good news. Our patience paid off. We hit 11 kilometers. And we can already craft our better drill, which means we need to equip it here. Oh, we are equipping different pieces. So this is going to be an engine. That's completely different. It uses more power, but it's going to be a lot quicker. But we started finding gold, which is worth 16 per ore. And we hit 12 kilometers. In theory, for every kilometer down, we're going to find more stuff because our idiots just keep multiplying downwards somehow. There is definitely a joke somewhere here about 100 guys going as deep as they can. And one thing I'm not supposed to do is let this hit capacity. So let's see if we can upgrade our drill real quick. Oh, we need 940 coals to do that. Okay, I've got to sell that. Then I've got to sell that. Once I have enough coal, we'll upgrade that engine and see what the drill does. I think it's simply going to add more power, which is going to help because the bigger the drill, the more power it's going to need. Oh, I'm at capacity and the game's yelling at me. Okay, we're going to sell that. And we're going to build one of those. All we got to do is equip it now, and hopefully that doesn't have any detrimental effects, but that should make our drill go deeper faster. Maximum penetration. Well, the number of coal we're getting is going up very quickly. We're only finding a little bit of silver and gold, but I'm pretty sure before long we're going to be jacking those numbers up faster than we can even see. Speaking of which, I'm going to sell everything I have right now, which is going to put us over $1,500 so I can hire another moron. The one after that is going to cost $10,000, but there we have three rows of men. So let's just keep the upgrades going. Double fan blueprint? Absolutely. What does it take to make one of those? 700 coals. That shouldn't take too long at all because we're getting like 10 per second. And where did I get all this money from? And we're at capacity already. Okay, we're definitely overdue to upgrade our cargo blueprint. Which is going to take 25 silver and 15 gold. So that definitely might take a little while, but I've got time. But this new cargo hold is needed because I'm already back at 30% and I just sold. And since we apparently need to go deeper before we're going to find gold, let's buy a better engine. Which, as it turns out, is ridiculously expensive. Uh, 4,000 coal, 300 copper, and 200 silver. And after selling my quickly accumulating coal and copper, I've got enough to hire another idiot. So we're going to be making money faster than ever. The next one's going to cost 30 grand. Seems expensive for people that don't really have a great range of motion or a single intelligent thought in their brain. And I just realized we finally have the gold we need for our next upgrade. Storage capacity, 5,000. Oh, and we hit level 20. Here's a trading post. At least, I think it is. It's a little bit hard to find without that big white arrow pointing to it. I guess he just makes me deals. If I give him 172 gold, I get $6,100, which I'm not that interested in yet. 20 depth, dig down to 20 kilometers, I'll take it. What do we get? $25,000. That means I get another row of moron. Mm, since I have the money and still not a great capacity, let's unlock the next cargo blueprint to hopefully get us more capacity. All we need is 125 gold and 20 statue heads. So if you guys down here happen to see any of those, let me know right away. Since I feel like the drill is a little bit slow, let's spend $15,000 on the triple fan blueprint, because that's what we want, cooling. And that will at least give us a nice option to spend 900 copper, should we find we have an abundance suddenly, which we always do. But we discovered platinum, so we got a new valuable mineral to be mining. For the two-cylinder engine, otherwise known as the most annoying upgrade in existence. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Every upgrade makes us that much faster. We just hit 100 gold on our quest in 23 kilometers. So that means we get our $10,000 basic treasure chest, which is a five minute time lapse, which definitely maxes out our numbers and also means that we can build and install our triple fan. So we're going to go ahead and slap that bad boy on now and then we'll take a look at what our drill looks like. Well, pretty much the same, but I assume it's just running quicker and better. 
And we discovered uranium! Good news for the workers, they don't get protective gear, they just get cancer. Look at how fast our numbers go up now though. 20, 30 coal a second, even the copper, silver is even going up very quickly. Gold is continually going up. And we got so much platinum already that we can make a bigger cargo hold and that's really all I wanted. Because that's gonna give us 6 times what we have currently and 30 times the base cargo. Now I can let this pile up forever. So now, when I hit a full capacity of 30,000 items, I can sell it all for $82,000. That's worth more than this guy's entire life. Uh, speaking of which, we're gonna hire another one, another row for 75,000. Look at the numbers going up now. Blueprints, on the other hand, are getting expensive. The next one's gonna be 75,000, then it's 100,000, 200, 350, a million. And I also just realized I can sell isotopes, uranium 1, 2, and 3. These are worth a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all these just for some quick, easy money. Pretty sure we can find more of that. And after selling more assorted garbage, time for the four-cylinder engine blueprint, which is probably going to be an absolute nightmare to make. 5,000 coal, 3,000 copper, and 2,000 silver won't actually take me that long. And before you know it, we're already there. Four-cylinder engine coming up. We've officially hit floor 30 and we've got $110,000, which is great because we're going to need faster mining because the next upgrade is $200,000. We finally just discovered another new ore. This one is diamond and that's got to be hugely valuable. Yeah, one diamond is worth $64. I'm pretty sure platinum is $32 each, gold being 16 and you get the point, but one diamond is worth a ton. Plus we unlock platonium, which is worth 1,000 or 20,000, so money's going to get easier and easier. So we absolutely should buy a quad fan blueprint. Not sure what these do, but I gotta assume it's helpful. But look how fast we're making money. That was 1500, that was another thousand. Every few seconds we make another thousand. I mean, I make another thousand, not these guys. These guys don't get paid once I buy them. Look how fast we're even mining diamonds now. I had seven of those a second ago. Next on our upgrade list is an ever increasing capacity, bigger cargo. And I kind of forgot about the fan already. The cargo doesn't look that hard to build except for the uranium. That one might be a bit difficult. And you can see our wealth growing, then we reinvest it, then it grows steeper, we reinvest it, it grows bigger, we reinvest it and it grows bigger. By the end, these are going to look like tiny little blips compared to what we're going to do. Then by the time we got that thing crafted, quad fan time. And that increased our drill power by almost double and reduced our time by about half. I realize the colors change too, the background dots are grey, by the time we get down to here they're almost a goldy color. But here's level 40 and this guy seems to have found me a treasure chest. We found half a million dollars, which I'm going to spend hiring more idiots. So yes, let's hire another miner to further increase all of these numbers ever quicker, 120 diamonds already. Then it hopefully won't be long to get this 6 cylinder engine. And to hire more idiots is going to cost us 3 million dollars. And we're definitely making the most on gold right now. For some reason, we're mining so much of it that it's flying ahead of the other things in value. And using that incredible amount of gold, we're going to buy the six-cylinder engine. Plus, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff we definitely can't afford yet. But this might not be so bad. I remember trying to get 100 gold seemed impossible. Now we've got 600 since we last spoke, you and I. So I knew it would take a long time to get 50,000 coal, but I didn't realize it would take this long. We just crossed 11,000. But we hit 42 kilometers, so that should mean probably more diamonds and platinum and valuable things. And I suspect that actually helped us out in a big way because I've suddenly got almost 50,000 coal. In fact, it would take me 14 and a half minutes to fill it up, which is completely embarrassing. I want the biggest possible cargo hold there is in existence, and I want that thing to fill up every second. I just love sitting here watching the numbers go up. So let's make one of these, then we're going to equip that bad boy. And that changed things a lot. Our drill power is up to 5600 watts and it knocked our time to from about 9 minutes down to 3.5. But does anyone want to guess what it takes to make a tri-platinum drill bit? Probably something obnoxious. 10,000 gold, 3000 platinum. That's actually not too bad. It is called Coltan. It is very dark. It is worth $500 each. But we also have enough for our tri-platinum drill, so let's slap that bad boy on. I feel like this is going to do some good work for us with our triple stabby action. Wait, look, idiot found me something. That increases the chance of selling for two times the price when selling minerals and isotopes by 50% for five minutes. So that means I want to mine up as much as I can for the next five minutes and then sell it, hopefully getting the two times price for it. All right, right as we hit 48 kilometers, I have 30 seconds left on my touch, so we're going to go ahead and sell everything right now, hopefully getting double the value. And that definitely helps, because our next blueprint is 2 million, then the one after that is 3.5.
we got $524,000. And I kinda like that because that's gonna get us our upgrade. At least then until we have to fill it with... Is that 800,000? Nope, I'm just stupid. Only 80,000 silver, which is still pretty bad. So uh, I'm gonna have to hope that this old guy's got a pretty good reward for me right now to be able to afford anything at all. Though I think I did just get 10 million dollars, so that's actually pretty good help. Plus 9 minutes, which still doesn't get us anywhere close to enough of the silver we need. But we sure can buy a decent cargo blueprint. And to make that, of course, you're probably gonna need something horrible. Without giving that any thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, because that's gonna encrypt, uh, boost my ship. Yes, you heard that right, my ship. And that puts everything up to here. My capacity is now 500,000. And the 10 million dollars seemed like a lot of money, but it's not even enough to buy the basic nuclear engine blueprint. So we'll spend 3 million of our remaining 6 million dollars on idiots. The next one's gonna cost 10 million, but that's gonna boost all our numbers up even faster. Since we seem to have crossed that threshold where we're just waiting and waiting and waiting, I think it's time to explore the tickets. Tickets, it appears, can be bought. 10 for $1, 1400 for $100. You can use tickets to buy chests. So naturally, I went ahead and bought 1400 of them for only $100. They haven't appeared yet, I probably need to restart. Also, I'm not really sure how to actually exit the game. Okay, I've located my tickets. These should give us a healthy little speed boost. So if I buy a regular one, what kind of stuff does it give me? A 3 minute time lapse. Well, that's gonna add up, but that's not quite the progress we were hoping for. So let's try a 10 times one. You got a blueprint for an intermediate nuclear engine. That sounds like something I would like to build, but I bet you it's not super easy to do. We need uh, like 6 trillion coals and a lot of uranium. But Santa's pretty stoked about something. What's he got for us? Find a golden chest. I get a million dollars for that and a decent treasure chest because I basically opened a treasure chest. We got 900,000 coppers, which we can't even hold. So I went ahead and sold all that. We're up to 11 million. Let's spend more tickets. Maybe before we do, we're going to hire more guys for 10 million dollars. And then we can start upgrading their efficiency. So for another 10 million dollars, we can make the miners better. But for now, we've got 10 miners all across the board. So that's going to be crazy amounts of minerals. So let's go talk to the golem for a second and try and buy a 50 million dollar upgrade. Do we work our way down? It probably makes more sense to work our way down. So we'll buy that plus this for a total of 35 million dollars spent. I am going to continually sell all my stuff before uh, redeeming tickets because sometimes they give me ores and I need as much room for those ores as possible. Another 15 million dollars. A blueprint for enormous cargo. I'll let you guys know when I find some ore again. Here we go. I just got 1.5 million platinum and I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. It's a shame I didn't have like 10,000 coal because I could have actually made a segmented heat pump which is way down the list but I can make a spike drill for now so that's actually going to help in a big way. Then we slap that bad boy on there and we're good to go again. That gave our drill a nice little boost up to 17,600 watts. And I guess we probably... Actually, if we sell some of the other stuff first, we might still get the coal we need for that other upgrade. No, we're still at capacity. So we're going to sell all that for 43 million. And let everything run again. There's a six hour time lapse that I could have done at a different time, but look at those resources. Even now, to go down to floor 69, hilariously, is going to take us 43 minutes. Basically, what I need to get is the large cargo for 50,000 diamonds. Once I get that, that's going to open up a lot more options. So I need to sell everything except the diamonds, and I need to let the diamonds keep on mining. And we discovered a uh, pay night. Old Man River wants to get me something else because I guess I hit 70 kilometers because we're skipping ahead through time. You got a uh, scientist, Mr. Mustache. Links when a chest is detected. So when we find a chest down there, he'll let me know. There we go, our capacity's at a million. It's currently full of diamonds, but we got it now. Which hilariously means we can already buy this sifting drill. So we're going to go ahead and slap that bad boy on and that's going to help us make a lot of progress downwards. Because I don't think I was supposed to have this for a while. This is a level 9 drill. Its base power is 20,000. Hey look at that, another 4 million diamonds. Is this a joke? The next chest is another 4.5 million diamonds. I don't have room for all these diamonds game, I'm sorry. I would like to use them, but I need other stuff. 75% of these chests just seem to be filled with diamonds, and more diamonds than I can even hold. 5.6 million diamonds and I've got the capacity for 1 million. Has this always been here? Set minimum amount of coltan to keep. I didn't know I could do that. And I discovered black opal, which is the next gem along my journey. Worth 2,000 each. Then I just received 284,000 paynite, 
So that could actually be a big one for my upgrades. Well, it will be when we get just a few other things to combine it with. And because we managed to skip through some time, we're down to 86 kilometers, which is going to give us red diamonds also, which are worth 10,000 each. All through hard work and perseverance, obviously. There's another billion dollars. Not because I uh, bought something or cheated or anything. Not at all. So I'm thinking I should spend some of that on my workers to get them working a little bit harder. So there's $6 billion. The next one costs 40, so clearly things still have some room to grow. They're all riding drills now. If I'd have known I was giving them that kind of help, I wouldn't have invested in them. I've just discovered Blue Obsidian, which is the most valuable thing we found so far. That was at a depth of 95 kilometers down. We haven't even found any yet, but I'm sure we will soon. Finally, look what we can build, a giant cargo. It only took 500 plutoniums, which took forever to be able to get, and that holds 5 million. And I feel like we can't just stop there. We have $53.8 billion in the bank. We're only down 95 kilometers. We gotta hit 100. We just hit a six hour time lapse. So I'm hoping that means I have the materials to build some more things and look at all the options that are suddenly available to us. I think we'd better do a segmented heat pump. That's an upgrade of three whole levels. Then we're going to build an intermediate nuclear engine because that's also going to be a big upgrade. That's going from level 5 to level 7. So my monstrosity now has 7 million watts of power and that's going to chew through the ground pretty quick. And because of all those upgrades and a little time boost, we hit 103 kilometers down. Perfect! An enormous cargo! This holds 10 million, so that's double the size of my current one. We're definitely going to strap that bad boy on right away. Now we have 10 million of pretty much everything. Our reward for digging down 100 kilometers is a billion dollars to add on to our 67 billion, plus an awesome treasure chest which gives us a 5 minute time lapse. And do we want to upgrade their drilly chairs? We might as well. It is going to cost 40 billion. Do we need money for anything else? Ah, we can invest 40 billion into workers. What's the worst that could happen? I can almost make the fission engine. We're so close. Pretty good effort, drilling down 107 kilometers. Look at all the upgrades we still have though. Like we can't even buy these and there's still all of these pages to go. We're gonna have to buy more tickets next time. We're gonna mine so far into the earth today that we're coming out the other side. It's all about the depth you see. The further down you go, the better stuff you find. And once we made a horrible mess of the earth, we vacuum up all its little pieces to sell for our profit. Then when we're back on the surface, we gather up all of our stuff and sell it to the guy who for some reason wants to buy dirt. And then we profit. Next, we're going to unlock the office, but I've got dirt to sell first. Now that I've done all that work, we're going to hire someone to do it for us. Sam. Our own little minion. He just runs dirt back and forth. Then we're going to add excavator power, vacuum power, and rope length. That means we can spend more time going downwards. There's our first gold nugget. That's got to be worth a few bucks. So we'll suck that up and send it to our little minion up top and then profit. A little bit deeper down, we find our next gold nugget. So we'll go ahead and put the vacuum onto that. The bottom of that gold nugget is just out of our reach. He's not quite cutting it on his own yet. So we're going to go ahead and help him along. But I need to remember to manually collect my money as well. He's not working fast enough for me. So we're going to upgrade him twice. He has more speed and more stack size. So I'm basically going to become a subterranean mole, only occasionally coming to the surface to collect giant stacks of money. But we need more rope length, so we're just going to go all in on that for a second. Now we can take ourselves right through that gold nugget and into whatever that thing is. Maybe some ore. We're going to vacuum that up before I forget it. I can't wait to find out what's way down below. Already we're starting to find some different things. That's some kind of purple gem for sure, but we're going to go back across to the gold nugget. Another purple gem. We should be able to go real deep. A little more power would be nice too. We're going through the dirt, but not quick enough. I did find a really big deposit of this purple stuff. We're just at the end of our rope. Take a look up top. We got a giant pile of dirt and a giant pile of money. We're reaching Walter White levels of richness at this point. Look at all that money. We've unlocked the gym for $5,000 as well. We can upgrade our character. We have a little guy to do. Oh, speed wouldn't hurt though. I'll take speed. I think every time we fill the truck, the truck gets bigger too. Like it takes quite a truckload to get him moving now. $12,500 though, we need more rope length, we definitely need more power, and I don't know what the vacuum actually does, but we'll get more power than rope length. Alright, let's put that to the test. We're going to mine through the giant deposit of purple stuff and even some gold. This is going to be so valuable. Maybe eventually we'll come to a point where the ground is just made of riches. This is already like 50% there. Uh, we better start vacuuming some of this up. Oh, it just gets better and better. This is really, really satisfying. Yeah, I gotta vacuum it up now because instead of mining, I'm just pushing my stuff around, which is pretty amusing by itself, but we've got riches to make. The ground literally turned pink here. It's simply made of whatever this is. Oh, I see our first diamond. We gotta get to that right now. That's gotta be worth something. Okay, we got the diamond. I'm gonna mine that up right away. I wanna get that to the surface right now. All right, coming to the surface, we can expand our area. Not sure what that's gonna do, but I've got some crap to move. 
We're also getting an offer for what's called a super worker. Uh, I am a super worker, so we don't need to hire him. Plus, I'm pretty sure all this purple stuff we're moving is quite valuable in itself. So once his truck gets going, we'll probably have enough to hire a new one. The truck is departed, but I want to see if I can get the diamond in this stack. Nope, maybe my friend, my friend has got the diamond on board. We'll go ahead and take in our giant stack of money for now. Then I guess we're just going back to loading the truck. But this has got gold and diamonds on board, so it'll be worth a ton. Okay, perfect. We've got $27,000. That means I can hire another worker for $25,000. He's not as quick as the first one, and he's really expensive to upgrade. But now I have to do less work. I just gotta mine again. With the increased truck size, though, every load is gonna be worth more and more. He carried like four things. I need to upgrade these idiots. Look at all that money. $17,540. So we're gonna upgrade our first guy just twice. Then we're gonna give ourselves more rope length, uh, definitely more digging power. I think he even changed look. Then I am gonna upgrade my guy's size. Not a ton, but just enough to, you know, make a little difference. Then it's back to work with my new and improved digger, and it goes a lot quicker to chew through this stuff. I wouldn't be digging so fast the guys up top just get literally buried in it all, and we end up just selling them too. Every part of this is so satisfying. They knew what they were doing when they did this. And we're getting into some darker purple ore. That's going to be worth more again. Uh, I assume the gold is still worth more, but obviously the gold is, you know, here and there. It's not everywhere. I'm going to help my morons out just a little bit uh, because they need the help. Look at the pile of money. It's like a skyscraper. The trucks seem to be capped out at 100 for now, so once they get going again, there'll be a giant stack of money. We're going to watch this one go. I just like to watch the money get bigger. Wow, it's right off the screen. All right, well, we're going to pick that up because obviously. $38,000. Uh, you know Sam is the unupgraded version because he doesn't have a mustache. We're gonna upgrade him once because those little things will make a difference. Machine upgrade time. Rope length? Yes, we need to go all the way down. Nothing else matters right now except the depth. Because you just know all the good stuff is below and we're just mining through pink stuff. You know what? I'm probably gonna suck up those diamonds before I fling them off the screen. I don't know where they go, but uh, let's make sure we're actually doing this properly. The ground is turning almost entirely purple at this point. I really need to vacuum because we're just kind of swirling my own stuff around. Just mine through a double gold nugget. There's a uh, another one below, but let's get that to the surface all in one tidy little bunch. And we got something green, some green ground for the first time, plus a diamond. So we're really starting to cherry pick where we're going. And since I have this rope length, I might as well use it. We're just going to push down to the green zone. Or whatever's after purple, I would assume it's green given what I'm seeing here. This feels good. Look at all that green stuff. We'll, uh, we'll assume it's emeralds, even though it's not really a gem. I've reached the bottom of my current rope, which turned red at some point. I didn't even notice it did that. So we'll take the rest of this and go look at our pile of money. I'll even help them by carrying a single stack over for them, but it really is quite a pile of money. Uh, I can barely see the top at this point. That gave us over $100,000 for the first time, and we didn't even grab it all. So we definitely need to upgrade our guy's speed, even though it's not going up by a huge amount. I just don't like being on the surface anymore. I'm completely subterranean at this point. And we're back over $100,000, so we're going to upgrade this thing. It might have gotten more teeth. I can't really see. And we're just going to upgrade everything. Curiously, vacuum power is already at max, but I assume I should be expanding my area soon. So using my new and upgraded thing, let's go deeper. I guess I probably should be trying to mine some of this green, but I assume it's only going to get better the deeper we go. Oh, and if, in case you wonder what a max power vacuum looks like, it's this colossal thing which really takes care of the dirt in a hurry. And a diamond! We'll chew right through that and then keep going down. This grinder is so powerful at this point, it flings the stuff everywhere. Like, I don't need to worry about vacuuming it up as much anymore because it just flings the stuff out of my way. But that was max step, so let's sell some of this green dirt to whoever wants it. Selling that single truckload of stuff made that pile of money way bigger. I decided to bring on a super worker for a minute just to kind of get us ahead because I mined up a lot of stuff, but look at him go. We're laying the material down so fast now the trucks can't actually keep up. Oh, so we got a pretty big stack of money here we gotta get through. And I think we're long overdue to expand our operation, whatever that means. 300,000 well spent dollars. So then we start ourselves in a new little mine with all sorts of gold. I miss my old digger for sure, but look at all this gold. It's gonna take no time at all to get filthy rich. And now we get a process machine, so that's gonna make things probably easier. Oh, I see, we gotta put it here and it's gonna go through it for us. Now we gotta collect the ores and sell them that way, but I bet these are gonna be worth a lot of money. Yeah, those few made me $7,500, so we're gonna get rich. We need to hire some workers to help us out on this side. Okay, I've hired a very singular worker to help me out with this, and we got rubies and emeralds down below. I'm just gonna show up every once in a while. I'm gonna emerge from my underground tunnels to collect the money and return back to my mole domain. Okay, we've got a lot of different things going on here we can upgrade. Okay, back to the mining. We made a lot of money off just a little bit of this stuff, so the more we get, the more we're gonna make. 
Uh, there's gonna be a jackhammer down below. I think some of this dirt is harder than other stuff, or it's going to get harder, but that's okay, because we're gonna have a super drill. I've already maxed out my rope length again. Look at all that ore sitting here. I've got no shame. We're getting a super worker. Now we're processing some ore. I don't even know how much I can stack up here. But the little stack I just sold gave me $55,000, so money's gonna be easy now. We probably need to upgrade this really badly. Well, the machine is upgraded. The problem is the worker won't go start moving on that side for some reason. So I guess I'm just going back mining then. But that's fine, we're just gonna keep stacking that guy up with ore. Eventually we'll sell it and then we'll be millionaires. Just a little bit further down, we're starting to find rubies, so this is gonna get a lot more valuable. And there's actually quite a few of them around, so as soon as idiot stick up top gets his stuff processed, we're gonna be absolutely filthy rich. Like it's even gonna be like in the cracks in the dirt, so suddenly we're gonna be so rich I can't even comprehend it. Well, it looks like the machine's backlog finally stopped. That means I can unload what's on my back and actually start selling some of this gold myself. We definitely gonna need more workers. <laughs> we stacked up a whole bunch of gold bars faster than the truck can take them. And a nice little mountain of money as well. There's hundreds of thousands of dollars just like that. Okay, now we need to build a ruby line for $250,000, so that's reasonable. But we're gonna make a lot of money off that anyway. I can't even imagine how valuable those are gonna be. Looks like rubies are going to be worth double what gold is, so we've doubled our uh, income. I'm going to spend 100000 hiring one more worker for now, just so they can really start to get stuff moving, and then we're going to need some more upgrades. I just spent a lot of money on upgrades, and we have our first power upgrade in a long time, so we're chewing through the dirt so much faster. And that's good because ruby dirt. Even extra vacuum helps a lot, because we can just get through that all the quicker. And we're finally hitting the part where it's just going to be pure ruby dirt, nothing else. So this definitely feels good. We're going to make a lot of money through sections like this. And we found a giant ruby down below, but also some kind of rock that apparently we're going to jackhammer through. Okay, so that's what the jackhammer does. It gets us through rocks that are just sort of inconveniently placed in the way for arbitrary reasons. But arbitrary reasons are pretty much why this entire channel exists. Okay, also we just chewed through that big ruby, so we'll send all this to the surface. And uh, again, we're going to be richer than ever before by quite a lot. It's even offering us a new area for $10 million, but look at all that ruby that's stacked up. Oh, I should really stop picking this up because I always get my backpack jammed. So I'm just going to sit back and relax and watch them work for a while and we'll see how much money we have. Oh, wait, let's examine our mountain of cash. <laughs> and it's a big one. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. So for the first time, we're certified millionaires. I'm going to spend half of that on another uh, Ruby conveyor. And then we're going to upgrade the excavator power a whole bunch. And that's going to help us chew through this stuff real quick. So we'll make money even faster than before. And we're back down to $10,000. For these rocks, I'm kind of wondering for now if we can just dig around them. They obviously bounce my thing around a lot, but if we can dig around them, we probably mostly will. Well, it seems like that one at least we can leave up there. We're going to go through a giant ruby deposit also. <laughs> and with this giant digger, we've already reached the bottom of our uh, current length. And one thing I didn't know is that my previous area is somehow continuing to make me money. I don't know how much there is, but that's still a pretty good stack, so that's just easy money for me. Mm, and look at all these rubies we have sitting there. That's got to be worth a lot. There's a few hundred thousand dollars, easy enough, so that means more upgrades. We definitely want to go deeper, so we're going to buy all the rope upgrades we possibly can. And then we'll go down. I suspect the rocks are going to start to get in the way, so we'll need a better jackhammer. But until then, it's just a free-for-all of chewing through the dirt. For about a meter, and then we're hitting giant rocks. Mm, these do take a second to get through, so we're going to have to upgrade this jackhammer. And I've spotted my first emerald, so we're getting into new stuff. That means it's only a matter of time before the entire ground is made of emeralds and we're getting even richer than ever. It didn't take long actually and it's really starting to turn. This ground is basically pure ruby with a sprinkle of emeralds inside. And this is satisfying. We're chewing through under our massive stuff so now when you vacuum it up there's so much stuff. And there's two giant rubies. There's the emerald ground. We're already getting into it. And we just kind of chew through underneath and circle up to the top and then we have a giant pile to vacuum up. Like, there's hardly ever, uh, even any gold at this point, we're so deep. Well, I've mined up an absolute mountain of material, so we're gonna be rich. Uh, emerald production line is $800,000, so I probably gotta collect some money before I'm able to afford that. I mean, we do only need 200000 so yeah, that's more than enough. So, when emerald production line. And we'll start to chew through these emeralds as quick as we can. They're probably not going to be super quick, but they're going to be worth a fortune. So that means we're going to hire David for $350,000. we are also going to upgrade you a few times. While we're at it, we're going to upgrade the gold processing just a little bit, uh, just to get it out of our way faster. Now we can have them delivering all the things all at once, and we'll pick up the next stack of money, which basically happened in real time, well over a million dollars again. 
Then I've upgraded a little bit of everything, including excavator power. But I upgraded the jackhammer, so now it's this beast. Uh, so as soon as we get it pointed in the right direction, it's going to break through that rock. Nice and quick. Mm, the new power here is nice. It really just chews through everything. It really doesn't stop to ask questions. I sort of accidentally came to the surface there. Didn't need to click the button, but well, we're here. We'll go ahead and upgrade some things. I feel like every time I go and uh, collect the money, I just puts me back over a million dollars, no matter how big that stack is. So I spend a million dollars on upgrades again, back to the mines. <laughs> and this thing is stronger than ever before, so it really chews through that dirt. And I have maybe found a new mining technique that's going to work even better. So if I just mine sort of downwards, not going too far side to side, the material will just follow me down, and then it's not in my way to keep digging deeper. Uh, we will have to upgrade the rope length more, because I just hit my max, but in theory that would work. But it also turns out the rocks will fall down if you mine out everything around them. So after all that, we're going to bring in a super worker to help. We're also going to stack up some emeralds. We're going to ship those off in no time at all. We're going to have a truckload of 34 emeralds. That's definitely going to add to our big stack of money, which has got to be worth a lot. We have almost $2 million now. And we've still got a lot to process through. So basically, we're going to need more depth. We're going to spend a lot of money being able to go deeper. I mean, all the other things. We have sufficient power and suction now. We just need to keep mining. I just realized I've got quite a stack of ore going on, so we're going to need to upgrade some things. So we're going to bring our super worker back in for a second. He's going to help us process through all this. And then our giant mountain of money has got to be worth a lot. There's a million dollars, so this should be over 2 million. That old stack was 2.6 million, which gives us a total of 3.4 million currently. All of which I spent on upgrades, so I've got $3,000 to my name left. But we can also process more ore now, or at least have more sitting here. Now I've got a lot of mining to do. My new strategy is basically going to be this, to go down as far as I can till I hit an obstacle, and then I'm going to go up the other side. Till I hit the top, and then I'm going to go right down sort of the center, and that's going to leave me with a giant pile to vacuum up. This is going to be quick, efficient, and this super satisfying look at all that ore. I spent a bunch of time mining, and I gave these gentle morons some time to process it all. And now I have the biggest stack of money yet. This is worth, wow, six million, a lot. Okay, that was an eight million dollar stack of money. So I'm going to go back to my usual little strategy, mine to the bottom, up the other side. Then I'm going to bring myself back to the surface and take the original pile of money, which looks really big, but it's not nearly as much money as you think. But by the time I'm done that, they've pretty much processed all of the ore which I sent to the surface, which was a lot. We have another real big stack of money. In fact, that put us over the $10 million mark. Which means we can expand our area again, and this place will mine itself. And that'll bring us into the Sapphire Territory dirt. This will be worth a lot, that's for sure. $27,000 each, so even just a stack of five of them, is worth $135,000. So this will turn us into billionaires before long.